And there we go. Uh, hello everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Be as a mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And welcome back to Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, where this is about our seventh stream of this, and I presume it will go into the double digits. <laughs> I doubt it will go into the triple, because I don't think we'll ever get a game that long. But... Yeah, this game is going to last us a while still, even though we're doing four-hour streams of it. Yeah, and congratulations, Captain. What? You said the entire title correct. Yeah. And as can be seen, I've grinded everyone up to level 40, and these three have maxed out level 73. <laughs> and yeah, we also have the guard room on I've been using for well, to force encounters, since you need a rookie or higher of a free type for that. And yeah, I've come up with names for these bunch as well. So let's actually start off with that, if we can. Actually, no, we need them in the party for that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I forgot we can name them there or need them in party or not. Let's quickly swap them around just so, so we can. Oh. Number seven is a bit too big. Uh, let's, see, let's swap them around with Pika for a bit. Oh, right, because that one's an ultimate, I forgot about that. Okay, you swap with Hex quickly. Let's see, one, two, three, four, okay. Then we just go here. And let's see, for number 10, uh, three, six, nine, yep. Yeah. Okay, I decided to call this one Tatum. Then number 11. We haven't seen them in a while, but still naming them after Lily, which, well, is rather fitting since, well, Sunflower. Okay, and number 9 will fittingly be called Glacier Boy. <laughs> <laughs> and number seven, well, since we've got uh, Tatum, we can also get Sensai. And let's see, I think that's all of them. Yeah, wait, did you have the Edromon? Yeah, right, yeah, we've still got that one tied along because I'm just short. Yeah, not that short anymore on, yeah, yeah, on vaccines, but I'll still keep them around since they're useful. Yeah, it, wait, you mean you didn't have a plan for the Edrobon? Not really, but they're, they're useful to stick around now. Um, let's actually move Sensei up front. Since, well, they are... I, I, I did develop them a bit early, I guess, compared to the rest, since those are most of the, well, main six, as I'll call them, are still... <coughs> are still champions. Uh... Let's actually get people back. Um, uh, yeah, I'll need to I'll, I'll need to juggle around with them a bit, I think. Uh, Let's be honest here. And Until well, you have max memory, it will be a lot of juggling. Yeah, let's actually move Sensei out. Uh, you in exchange for Glacier Boy for the moment. And then Hex instead of... Hmm. Okay, I think we might need to leave Hex behind for a bit then. Let's see. One, two, three. Okay. Um, yeah, let's keep it... We don't have any... We have one virus with us like this. Uh, Sensei, let's swap you for... I don't... I don't want to swap any other those from... Okay, well, we're, we're going light on the uh, virus at the moment, then. Okay, now let me just rearrange them. Yeah, I really need to give the... I really need to give the Edermon a name. Okay. Um, uh, 
Well, si since we've <laughs> since we've got Glacier Boy, I think the perfect companion name for Erdramon here is going to be Durvan Lord then. Oh. <laughs> so we've got both of the pair along with us then. Oh dear. Okay, now what were we up to again last time? Uh, it's right. We did, we were just finishing up one of the quests. Okay. Let's see. Which was this one again? Ah, oh, yeah, the side with the Gansai Tentomon. <laughs> did you pedia? Yeah, of course I know about it. Actually, how'd you go this long without hearing about it? Surprised, considering your age. <laughs> well, that's supposed to be a reference to an actual Digimon Wikipedia. Could be. And it seems oh. there is some sketchy post on the second floor of Broadway. Have you seen it? Wait, do we have no other submissions? Yeah, there are no available at the moment at the board. All right. Okay. Sometimes they didn't need to be triggered. True. Uh, let's see. Or if you have the complete edition, this should be the... What I have not done yet, which I hopefully will be able to do when I play Game Plus. One involving Black Agumon and Black Agumon. Okay. Yeah, I see that sign caught your attention too. The Super Ultra True Puppet. It's quite the intrig intriguing name, that's for sure. Oh no. Like the name says, it's an exquisitely crafted doll made to look just like a real human being that you can buy online. Or, or sorry, here. Though calling it Super and Ultra True is a tad redundant. Uh, red, uh, red, uh, redundant. Bleh. They could have gotten the point across without using both terms. We have marketing idiots will say that both <laughs> both uh, terms are usually gen yeah, associated with more sales. So, uh, even though <laughs> the average person will go like, why the hell is it both? Yeah, it's actually not that expensive. I'm thinking of saving up my mon um, yeah, my money and buying one myself. And it's made by Joraguma Co. Limited. A nice snappy name for a company, although there's a bit of a sketchy vibe to it, too. Why do we get the feeling that's a yokai name? Anyway, I wonder who the model behind this doll is, too, come to think of it. Oh no. Hey, a case came in from me at the Inoden uh, Cold Research Club. Grab by the office when you can, alright? We can just feel Drakir's dread level rising. I may know which one it is, and it is one of those that actually made me and not quit the game, it just made me need to take a pause for 10, 20, and a half an hour just to absorb the dread. Let's see, living doll, dead person. Be a cold club. Have you heard of Super Ultra True Puppets? We ply our trade there. Okay, a stun barrier we can get from that. Hmm. Attack of Kura Yeah, Kuremi. You have to help us. You have to help us, please. Make calm down. I'm sure that you'll help us. Tell me what's going on. What's wrong? Given that this is a you know, business from the Occult Club, I take it we've got another supernatural case in our hands? Yeah, I mean, I mean, no, probably. I don't think this is anything to do with the Occult this time. No, and why all the big fuzz? Well, there are apparently the, these dolls being sold on the internet that look just like me and May. Okay, yeah, that is concerning. <laughs> I think those dolls are called Super Hyper Ultra Lookalikes or something like that. You must be referring to these Super Ultra True puppets. I've heard rumors about them. Alright, tell me more. These dolls, their faces, their bodies, everything from top to bottom ju looks just like us. They're so accurate, it's creepy. And to make matters worse, they're being sold real cheap. You'd think you could go you know, for at least a little more money on the market. Uh, that's not really a problem here. You get that, right? But it still sucks. It makes me feel like they see me as some kind of cheap piece of junk. I mean, I find it weird too that your doll costs several thousand yen more than mine, but... 
It uh, could be something to do with the cat ears, though those are just part of a costume, I presume. Things are weird enough in this world that animal hybrids do not <laughs> would not surprise me. Wait, you do care about the prices after. I said it's not important. I said it's not important. Anyway, these dolls that look just like us are being bought by otaku all over the place. When I think about what those guys are probably doing to uh, with or to them, it just really creeps me out. Hmm. You know, this reminds me of another incident. I wonder if, it, no, if this is connected to that. What kind of incident? There's a really dicey looking service out there that's called the Perfect Girl Project. You can use it to get a living doll made in an image of your ideal girl and live the life you've always dreamed of. But the police have been hearing about how owners of these dolls are going missing. I was just discussing it with Detective Natayoshi. Super Ultra True Puppets. Living dolls made in the images of people's dream girls. I guess they sound like they could be related, but are you sure there's really a connection? That's the tough part to prove. To make dolls that look so similar to how you two really are, it take, it take having pretty specific data on your bodies. I imagine getting your hand on something like that isn't, isn't exactly easy. Actually, I have an idea of how they might have managed to pull it off. There is an LDC machine in an arcade in Akihabara that I think might be suspicious. LDC? You mean you don't mean lustful dream checks, do you? Like, they're certainly not one for Selby, if that's the case. No, no, not that. I mean, Living Doll Club. That's what LDC stands for. Right, it's a machine that scans all of your body and makes a 3D printed figure of it. Our data could have somehow leaked out of that, I guess. Or purposefully sold. Because, yes, <laughs> companies are just really freaking scummy with data, you, uh, with user data these days, huh? Like 10-ish ten, uh, years back, people were still, you know, may, maybe more people were going, it was basically like, shield your private data as much as possible. Now companies are actively trying to get people to share it so they can sell it. Yeah. Hmm. I definitely can't deny the possibility. Then the next step is clear. You need to head straight to Akihabara and get info on this living doll club machine. That'll be your job, Anne. As for me, I'll see if I can dig up anything else regarding the Perfect Girl project. I got a lustful yoga thing they had there. I do feel familiar with this quest, and if it is, is the one I think it is. Again. This is one of the games that made me really realize, I even get to know that they actually have thought they have been aiming the games for the both younger but also older audience. Oh, hmm? You want to talk to me? Why? What is it? Okay, you know anything about this? Ah, Living Doll Club, is it? For a time there was this huge ad campaign about how we'd use, uh, use the latest in 3D tech and whatnot. There was a Living Doll Club in the arcade down the way, wasn't there? <laughs> that was easy to find. Yeah, and okay. we were wondering, I agree with the girls, that is indeed extremely creepy, and I think that's pretty illegal? Yeah. Besides, if you're using someone's likeness, you... At the, bit, at the absolute least, you need permission, and yeah, even if you do have permission, you have, I'm pretty sure, unless you have it specifically put into a contract or such, you need to pay them part for using their you know, likeness. Also, fuck off you. Yeah, and here's me. First place, one thing. However, what the, these people are doing here is not cosplay, they are alright. Stealing yes. someone's appearance and putting them on doll and sell them without permission. Yep. I can tell from your body language you're frustrated and unhappy. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I know this is out of the blue, but I bet you're into beautiful women, aren't you? I'll have you know that I sell top-notch dolls of only the prettiest girls. Maybe you've heard of them? They are called Super Ultra True Buffets. 
If you want, I can let you two have one for two. Go ahead, check this one out for yourself. It works out one of Nokia. Granted, this one's an ugly one that was made as an experiment and hasn't sold well, but you understand how real my dolls look now, right? Also, where the fuck did you pull that from? <laughs> did I just pull up into that briefcase? Uh, uh, it would be utterly hilarious if we could buy that and just send it to Nokia just to see how they'd go, what the fuck. They would, honestly, they'd probably use it as a mannequin. Wait, wait, wait. Is it a physical doll or a virtual doll? I'm presuming physical. Yeah, for, if it was a wood doll, then it would have a laptop in the case, but if it's a physical... Um... Will that yeah. cause concern if someone saw an old or an doll being carried around? Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> you, know, you could probably say that he's got it in the truck back there or something. But I'm pretty sure that's been there the entire time, so... Oh, well. Well, if you're interested in having one of these for yourself now, I've got something even better. But it's a top secret service. Nobody can know. <laughs> totally not people laugh. Let me ask you, how are you doing health-wise? Ah, well enough. Great to hear. Really, if you, even if you weren't 100% perfect, you'd probably still be fine. What are you going on about? I bet you're bored with how your day-to-day -day life is going. Wouldn't you love to just throw it all away and spend it with the girl of your dreams? Doesn't that just sound fantastic? Because with the Perfect Girl Project, I can offer you exactly that. With the Perfect Girl Project, you can have your ideal girl recreated and sent straight to your room as a living, breathing human, uh, living, breathing human being. There's just one condition you have to abide by if you use this service. Just one condition and you can be free from the tedium you've lived with up until now. Yeah, this condition is probably going to be something quite, well, strangling. <clears throat> totally not evil laugh. I bet you're wondering just what that condition actually is. I understand, that's a fair question to ask. Tell you what, I'll let you know the condition free of charge. The one condition is that once your dream girl has been sent to your room, you can never leave it for the rest of your life. Simple, right? Uh... <laughs> You probably, you probably better have a good amount of money ready for just Uber Eats because, well, otherwise you're going to starve in there. Oh, you don't have to worry about survival. The girls take care of that for you. So what do you think? Not a bad deal, right? Yes, I have a deal. That's okay. Take all the time you need to think. Once you know you want one, just get in touch and I'll make it happen. Totally not evil laugh. <laughs> Right now, I think I'll just go. Uh, yeah, I'll just go uh, check out the LDC machine at the arcade. Let's take a moment to rest with something here. He said, "The girl of their dreams to take care yeah. of them." Which, well, they're of course not going to show any. The assumption is, of course, that there'll be an adult girl, but, well, we know how creepy fe you know, people on the internet can be. Oh, and oh, you were that, yeah, that's horrible as well, but... I want just to figure out... Uh, are they hinted that these... girls are either alive or... artificial intelligence? Hmm. That could be a something as well, yeah. Yeah, Let's for... Mm -hmm. And also just the whole... Yeah, it, it sounds official. It, you can definitely see they are rich people they're in for. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep. No. <laughs> I thought this was one of the normal ones. Uh, which... As a dog walking no, man no. statue? Yeah, that's... It... <laughs> yeah, that's wrong. Okay. But yeah, yep. there's so much going on with the, this one. Yeah. How's your investigation into the LDC machine coming along? Ah, so you're just about to get started on it. Hmm? You encounter the suspicious man out by the LDC machine? 
That's good timing, because I'm detecting a faint digital noise signature close to where you're standing. I'm going to take a close look at that arcade machine. I bet you'll find some clues about how these super ultra true dolls are made. And as usual, this case is starting to take some weird turns, so be ready for anything in there. Weird is putting it mildly. Looks like I can connect jump into the LDC unit. May as well. Okay. And right off the bat, we have a box we can go grab. Let's see. SD capsules, two paths. Let's see where this one goes. Oh, what the heck? Like, I can feel my chest clumping up. Okay, let's. Oh, really? Just basic ones? And hello there, Princess Elizabeth. How are you doing today? Hello there again! Let's see. Ah, oh, sick. Yeah, that, that sucks. I hope you'll feel better soon. And very sleep deprived. Yeah, that's not a good combo. Yeah, okay. I hope you're able to get some proper sleep soon. Yeah, hope, hopefully we can just uh, yeah, hopefully we can provide some distraction, though if it's really late there you probably should try to sleep. Uh, also of course drink enough water because well when when you're sick you don't want to be dehydrated as well. Indeed. And that's why Captain Fogano we might be able to help them sleep, we might be relaxing enough. And what are you saying? We're boring? Ask. No, I would say we probably entertain him enough, but we are not the... How to say this? Oops. You're not like Jack Septi guy in his younger days. Yeah, we're not like some sugar-coated uh, <laughs> rush to keep people distracted. Uh, anything yeah, uh, here? I just meant we are not loud. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We've uh, been drinking nothing but water and at least five or six 24 ox. Uh, I don't know, I don't re recognize the uh, no uh, ounce okay ounce uh, bottles of water a day okay well I, I believe the I believe the average suggested is two liter a day not sure how that would convert to one another but I'm, I'm guessing you'll get more than enough yeah but that's for average person like it can depend a lot depending on your height, bone structure, and all that. Could be one of the things bone structure. You have a big bone structure, that means you have a bigger body, since yeah. you have enough bone to support it. That's two and a half to three liters. Okay, that probably should be enough. I take people's data, make dolls from it. And, and lots and lots of, and of dolls. Dolls that steal souls, then people become dolls. The dolls are lifelike, the people are deathlike. Huh? Dude, what are you? Any interferers must be punished. Any interferers must be punished. Okay. It's an infirmon, and it's, from the sounds of it, it sounds like it's glitching. Okay. Time to Hadouken that thing. Okay. 48 ounces, one liter. Okay. So it's less of glitching and more over focused. Yeah, that's that's the thing with Digimon. They have just as much capacity for good and evil as humans, and just as much capacity for going absolutely bad shit. Yeah, especially if someone else like a hacker tampers with your data. There's something on the ground. Mysterious URL. Okay. Did, did you just come out of out of the, the LVC machine? Finally, someone fucking noticed. You're not with the cops or something, are you? Are you? Uh, I'm the cops' a secret weapon. Oh. I didn't realize that was who I was hitting up. I must not be on top of things like I used to be. Well, I've made a good amount of money as it is. Maybe it's time to call it good enough for now. Don't bother trying to come after me. If there's one thing I'm still good at, it's running away. See ya! And off he goes. Okay, 
At least we scared him off. So the perpetrators behind this case are probably that salesman you met and the Digimon working together. It's unfortunate he got away, but will live. As he suspected, those two probably used that LDC unit to gather up girls' data and then used it to make these super ultra true puppets. Okay, that, that, the door sound makes it sound like they only just arrived, but they were already sitting there. And does that mean you guys checked out the LDC unit in Akiba? It probably means you have a good idea of who's behind our dolls then, right? Don't get too excited. We didn't arrest the guy, but we've got him cornered. I doubt we'll try to pull something like this again anytime soon. Plus, we killed his partner. Killed, reformatted, whatever happens to Digimon when they quote-unquote die. But the question still remains as to what's become of the perfect girl project now. Hmm. At the very least, we know each doll's looks are derived from a real person. The doll's realism is then used to help sway potential candidates to join the project. But what is the perfect girl project even really about in the first place? I think Detective Kuremi mentioned that people who are a part of it have been disappearing, right? Indeed. And actually picked up some rather useful information about what's required of anyone, uh, anybody who does join the project. What is it? Anybody, anybody who has their dream girl sent to their room can never leave it, ever. I'm sure I don't need to explain why that's probably a bad deal. No? What's this? Nice, right, so you're all left at the scene of the camp. This might come in handy, Anne. I want you to go to that URL and check it out. But don't worry about going too deep inside. You don't know what you'll find in there. Very possible we could be dealing with something extremely dark and sinister. Dark and... Sinister? You two are part of the Occult Club. You are certainly to be expecting this stuff. Or at least more used to it. We're talking as grim as the stuff you look at for fun in your club. Maybe even more so. So <laughs> calling them out? <laughs> Whatever's on the other side, it's not going to be pretty by any means. And whilst those two are distracted, off we go. Uh, Vedamon, <laughs> being snappy. Hmm? Who are you? A Cyber Sleuth? <laughs> Man, this place sure is getting crowded now. Is this my room? Yeah, of course it is. What's this about it being inside Eden? Stop joking around. This is clearly the real world. How could I be in cyberspace? Yep. Just look at the bloody horizon, dude. Who are all these girls around me? They're my dream girls. My dream girls is pure pristine dolls. Yep, this has all been made possible thanks to the Perfect Girl Project. You really know your stuff. As promised, in exchange for these dolls, I've stayed locked up inside my room. Life with these girls is the best. I couldn't be happier. They take care of everything I need. Really, I don't see any reason to ever leave this place anyway. It's perfect here. But this really is inside Eden? <laughs> Cut it out already with that man. You sure you're not one of uh, yeah, you sure you're not the one who's actually dreaming right now? But it must be some sort of illusion up to make it think this is his room or something. It's not affecting us because, well, it's not tuned to us. Hmm. Alright then. So that euro led you to one of the victims of the Perfect Girl Project. Victim? What do you mean? Remember, to join the project, you have to stay holed up inside your room for the rest of your life. But in reality, he was lured into Eden, and now he's living with those girls there while he's actually unconscious. But then that means... Right, the so-called life he's leading with the, those girls in cyberspace is just one big lie. The whole thing's just a sad scam. Anybody who falls prey to it is unwilling, uh, unwillingly imprisoning themselves for life inside cyberspace, thinking they've never left the real world at all. And that makes sense. It also makes sense if you think about the name of the company behind it, Jurogumo. Yeah, that's definitely a yokai name, huh? Find one. Yorogumo is a mythical spider who appears as a beautiful woman to attract men to her waterfall. 
They'd plunge in for her and die at her hands. Yep, yeah, called it. <laughs> hmm. I knew if there was anyone uh, here who'd know about this, it'd be you, May. You really know your occult history. Okay, so I get all that, but why go to the trouble of locking victims up in their room and then imprisoning them in cyberspace? If somebody's stuck inside Eden, thinking they are still in the real world, and don't log out, then... All that's left, behind, all that's left inside the locked rooms are living bodies, which could be used for any number of things. Like... like what? According to police investigations, the victims' bodies are carried off by a third party and taken overseas to foreign countries. What? Why would anyone do that? A lot of the applicants are young and healthy. There are who knows how many people around the globe who'd want such fresh bodies. That's... that's so horrible! We don't know for sure that it's anything along those lines. It's just a theory right now. Hmm. Just thinking about it gives me real goosebumps. Anyway... About that guy your assistant met a little while ago. What do you think has happened to him? It's hard to know for certain. On the one hand, his body might already be lost forever. But on the other hand, we might still have a shot at saving him. Might as well see if we can still call out to him. But we should be prepared for the worst. Hmm? What's this? Please, you need to log out. Is this another one of that kid's pranks? How many times do I have to tell you, buddy? I'm in the real world. I couldn't log out even if I wanted to. You must be pretty clueless if you think this could possibly be inside Eden. <laughs> <laughs> well, it couldn't hurt to try. I mean, there's no way it'll work. That's not how it works in the real world. I mean, come on. Huh? What am I... What am I seeing here? I don't get it. Error. Nowhere to log out. Yep. He's See stuck in there. Yeah. The line between dreams and reality can be murky. That's why I can't dismiss the possibility outright. Who are we to say we don't live in a dream? Let's not get on that existential <laughs> crisis line. If I say these people, what I realized, if I, I also did take a pause back the first time, even the second time, when I did that mission. It's... They always did not uh, bring them to God of for slavery, which sadly still happens today. Horrible. Since, again, his mind... He, his body will not be able to do anything. This made me realize there is something older thing they're probably doing that's still horrible. Yeah, there's... The more fantastical thing that I can think of, since it is pos it shows that it is possible to basically offload a human mind onto Eden, that also raises the possibility then of downloading someone's consciousness into a new body, somehow. I, I or did. the more down... Come on, another one? The more down-to-earth possibility... Organ harvesting. Yeah, that's what's my conclusion. Organ harvesting. I didn't think of the body download. Dude, that would probably cause a quite a ruckus. Everyone would have been known about already. One way or another, for someone would have slip up. But organ doing it. Yeah, black market organ selling. Uh, yeah. I did warn you people. They went dark. Yeah. Detective Matayoshi says Arat has been seen in Shinjuku a lot. What's he up to? Yeah, illegal organ trading is 
sadly a big deal even in these days. Yeah, and the toys are indeed younger people for healthier organs. Yep, there's Arata. Hey, what are you doing around here? You're telling me the great Cyrus Lee is just walking around looking for a job? <laughs> just joking with you. If you're free to do, uh, if you're free, do you want to hang out? Yeah, we probably need a distraction after that black hole. Actually, this written challenge just came up uh, from some mysterious guy. It says, in my hand, I am holding a very rare out of print edition of the comic Bakuan Delete. If you want it, accept the challenge. Basically, this is a rare comic contest. What do you think? Interesting, right? We should do it together. I know, I know. I'll send it to Kyoko as an official request. If she finds out we're, uh, if, she, yeah, if she finds out we're slacking off, we're, uh, we're slacking off work to go mess around. Kyoko's gonna explode, or she's going to force feed us coffee. What the heck, my heart? But I respect. Yeah, to, go ahead. Sorry, I respect them for going dark and all that, but still, they they did some things. I thought, all right, that's a bit unusual, but I, I like it. Then this one came. Yeah, it hit like a brick wall. Yeah, and to put the one last dark cherry on top. Since that guy now realizes that he's stuck in cyberspace, and, well, we are not really told anything about them potentially, well, having an, a an actual uh, lifespan, aka the possibility to, well, die, basically he's now stuck in a hole to go mad for all of eternity, where as long as there's electricity in, you know, to whatever server he's stuck on. Mm. Yeah. Okay, rare comic collection from Arata. It's a community area. We haven't been there in a while. A mysterious man has issued a challenge. A fight with rare comics at stake. Cyrus, I need your help. And we get a farm expansion. Okay. Anything from you? Nope. Okay. Why do we... We can just go in here. Okay. Let's see. Yep, Eden. Community. We haven't been here since the very first stream, I think. Yeah, just remember. We need to investigate whether that Victory Usheda guy is. He can reward you with things that help you level faster. Okay. I just don't put a whole other rich cash up just does that. Mm. Oh, you're here at last. You're late. Hey, is this your friend? Hmm? Ah, um, uh, that... I mean, this... This is, uh... Okay, so it's you two... Uh, it's the two of you who are doing the Rare Comic Contest this time? Okay, then do your best. Well, see ya. Okay, just bolting. And... So I was telling you about the written challenge from the suspicious guy, right? That suspicious guy is a rare comic collector. He brings participants in with the promise of rare comics and then gets them to answer fan questions he comes up with. All over Eden there are contest organizers, so-called game masters, who ask the questions everyone has to answer. The way it works is that the first one to reach the rare comic collector then will be presented with one of his best comics. You can't just buy a rare comic from the collector. Man, what I wouldn't do to get a real comic. I'm literally, literally salivating at the very thought. We've gotta do it. We've gotta win. We need to get our hands on that real comic. Hmm? You want to know what Bakuin, uh, Bakuin Delete is? It's a long story, but a good one. Okay. Bakuin Delete, or Bakudeli, is set in a turn of the century dystopia. Bakren, or Bomber Garden, is the scene of a wild hero and heroine adventure. The hero is Shokyo Haku. He is the head of the student council, a brilliant genius and a senior at a private school called Saint Therese. 
not just that, but he's an incredible hacker. Aku Sokoku Delete. He's vowed never to kill, he destroys evil hackers all in the name of justice. At the start of the series, he's a detective who can't you know, use hacking, but... Are you even listening to me? Mostly. Well, I did tell you where there's a long story. Anyway, Baku and Delete is now out of print. This is an amazing chance to get the final volume of the comic, which is extremely rare. Hmm? Why is it out of print? Oh, that's a long story. Wanna hear it? We've already had one long story. Uh, this is what I get for accepting your case. Okay, since you're a friend, we may as well let hear you out. Well, it's, it's just an overreaction. From when it was published, harmful hackers started to pop up in Eden, and people feared the comic was playing. Believe it or not, they suspected the author of being a hacker himself, and he was arrested. After that, it was recalled and went out of print. So, just your standard, uh, public hysteria. Uh, It was always just a minor comic with a few fans. The shop stopped stocking it three days before the arrest, making it an extremely real comic. Now you can get the contents of the comic on the web, but nothing beats the real deal. I do have to agree with that. Uh, I was I was planning on bringing this up uh, during the uh, Warcraft free stream on Thursday, but I actually managed to get my hands on a an old big box a copy of Warcraft 3 with everything still inside. I thought you were doing Warcraft 2! Uh, yeah, Warcraft 2, yeah, yeah. Misspoke, my bad. So, yeah, even though I mean, I don't really have intentions of playing Warcraft 2 ever, it is just a, still a very nice collection piece to have. And I also have a, a, a big box copy of Tomb Raider, which I got in the same batch. That one I do care a lot more about since, well, <laughs> Tomb Raider is kind of a, you know, a, a decently big deal in my childhood since I, well, I started video gaming basically by watching my father play Tomb Raider. So yeah, <laughs> I have a history with the Tomb Raider games, and uh, yeah, we will. <laughs> I'm just remembering if I actually streamed any of the games yet, but yeah, we have streamed the uh, second era, and I do want to stream at least some of the latest era. But maybe someday we'll do the first one at some uh, time as well. Well, the first one actually been re been released this year or last year on Switch. Yeah, the, the, the more trilogy. It's not the entire first era, but yeah. yeah. Actually, now that I have more spending money, for one, I should get the uh, latest Dredge DLC, and I should look at getting the Tomb Raider collection as well. Yeah, and don't forget the, you know, other thing they released on the damn same day. Maybe in the Steam World. <laughs> yeah, I'm dumb in this collection. I already got it. Good. And I just remember something. Tomb Raider has a lot of work. But something I observed from other shops that does with uh, reselling games and such. Uh, Need for Speed is not one of them, but I've seen. They get so many Need for Speed games that they sell them a disc for like a pre-owned disc that we had for like two euro less uh, even. You... Yeah. Or <clears throat> here's the thing. Some things people are less likely to sell. But apparently, and painful obvious but I've seen racing games is the first thing people will sell to buy another game. Yeah. <clears throat> Not to be too games. downplaying of racing games and such, but a lot of them are very similar to each other. But you, you could probably say the same about most shooters as well. Like, look at uh, look at the last batch of Call of Duties. They're basically all the same with a reskin. Yeah. <clears throat> so I guess if you if you really want to see football or racing game, you'll like to find them. Every taste of extremely cheap penny because everyone is turning them in. Yeah, not everyone, but a lot of people. But yeah, second-hand stores are a good place to keep an eye on, because some people will just sell. Some people will just sell stuff that they don't really know the value of, and could just be because yeah, 
people died and they need to clean out the house and such. I think that happened actually with the bats, where I got the, uh, <clears throat> with the, uh, Warcraft 2 and Tomb Raider big box from, because, uh, just for clarification, I work at a second hand store on the intake. Uh, but it, along with that, they brought like a fucking dozen and a half uh, flight simulators, also in big box. So I get the feeling, yeah, you know, someone died and they cleaned out the collection. <clears throat> oh dear. Yeah, enough of that. Let's continue with the game. Now you can get the con. Yep, yeah, already that. Are you really even listening to me? <laughs> huh? Want to know who the suspicious guy who issued the rhythm challenge is? Well, basically, you see, I guess nobody really knows, to be honest. That would, that's what would make them suspicious, I presume. Okay, so this is the starting point. The Game Master must be around here somewhere. Let's find the first Game Master and solve the first puzzle. With all this use of Game Master, I'm reminded of uh, Captain N and how the subtitle of that got misheard so many times. Let's see, Zuba. Uh, Philemon's nickname, I'm guessing Great Eagle of the Desert. Uh, but yeah, that, that old uh, 90s cartoon, Captain N, the Game Master, basically a Nintendo uh, advertising oh. show. Uh, yeah, a lot of people either misheard or just joked that it was Captain N, the Game Master. Oh, I love Yeah, I was just reminded of that. And apparently, so much shit we're about to say the same thing. <laughs> I was just about to say the same thing. <laughs> it, it is basically the one thing it is known for, huh? Or one of the biggest. The other one is just... <laughs> is just Simon Belmont being a big fucking flop, flop of a guy. I, I've seen bit of the show. The only thing I remember is a unsettling little rain and the eggplant. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mother Brain. <laughs> There's definitely a version of Mother Brain. <laughs> That's all I said on that, I think. <clears throat> uh, you're also a participant in the contest, right? Okay, so answer the following question. Question. Answer. In which frame of which volume of the comic series did the main character rival uh, I Ichinosuke Gin and our first appear? That's a very specific one. Uh, how the hell are we supposed to know? He's the one who... Uh, I'm guessing he's supposed to show up early or something? Oh, this is a difficult question for you? It's an easy one for me. The answer is volume you know, 43, frame 2, right? It's the scene where the general, uh, where General Asimov brings him to the classroom. That's very late to bring a, a rival in. Then again, I'm not too familiar with mangas and stuff, but I'm pretty sure, if I recall correctly, generally a volume is what's used for a chapter in those. No, uh, a volume is basically a book. Okay, so, it's, so the, <laughs> the rival in, was introduced. 43 books in? Uh, okay. <laughs> Correct. But it was just a beginner level question. Beginner? Really? Next, please go to the entrance of Eden. You will be asked another question by the next game master. Well, yeah, for people who never read the manga, manga books are usually pocket sized. Okay, that, yeah, that definitely have Pocket sized, but if people call them pockets for some reason. Some are small, bigger. Okay, so I'm guessing most volumes would be about the, uh, the the size of a large chapter in a book or something. Again, I'm not yeah, much on the I'm not f too familiar with the mangas and such. Uh, uh, have you ever read Inuyasha or Ranma? Uh, I've watched the animes. Still need to finish the OVAs of both. I think I have the Ranma complete in manga okay. form. On my bookshelf. <laughs> okay. Well, Let's yeah. see. Go ahead. They're not big. Uh, they are some that's all a bit bigger format, but they are then slimmer. Since, well, bigger pages. Yeah. Let's see. Elizabeth has read both, apparently. <laughs> yeah, okay. 
I, I should... I should re-watch Inuyasha. I know that there's a remake of sorts of Ranma one half coming up. Would be nice to see one for Inuyasha as well. I'd be up for watching it with you. Maybe, maybe that... I forget the name. The main character is called Lum. It's from the same artist, I believe. I heard of Lum. I haven't read it, though. But I know of the character. But I might have... I might have accidentally bought an anime from one of them where Lom is in without knowing he was part of that. Uh, now, now I'm reminded of something I saw on the internet a while back. I think it pops up every now and again. It's uh, like a father or something who uh, got a box of quote-unquote anime for cheap at a yard sale or something for their anime-loving uh, childs. And it's just a picture of the box and it's filled with fucking hentai. Oh no, that reminds me. Someone owned an anime, a very old one before it was really spoken of. But over the years, I re realized this. They, who went translated, made one mistake. Oh. Instead of writing anime, they drew Tentai. <laughs> and it was a fighting anime. And it was basically it was aimed for my my younger friend's age group was around ten at that time or something like that. Like it, it was not the itchy one or can I think it was a very bad mistranslation. Of which the nineties were very, very full of. Yeah, and again, when I was getting to know about anime and manga, I myself did make the mistake, I think. The regular movie you me read or manga the uh, hentai and the pony of us manga. I made that mistake once. But I got corrected that later on. And that and and, and my movie did not help the situation. It actually made it worse. Uh, let's see, Elizabeth, I love the mangas. I just I need to finish the Yasa, the show that is, and BRB. Okay, see you in a bit, Elizabeth. We'll continue on. Uh. Oh. <laughs> okay, the second Game Master should be around here somewhere. Let's look for him and answer the next question. I'm presuming that one Game Master sends a message to the other one so people can't just follow the winners to the next one or something. Right, 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 right. right. This is correct. Are you the Game Master? Okay, then, let's get started. Question. In Bakuin Blitz, what is the name of the pet rabbit that belongs to Rodrigo, the main character's Japanese-Brazilian next-door neighbor? Gravity, Mr. Ear. <laughs> because there's no chance we're getting any of these good. Uh, correct. The dog was called John, the cat was called Polish, and the monkey was called Akatarina. Really? Is it uh, Pyon Kichi? Wow, <laughs> that's amazing, correct. So far, you've been able to answer all the questions easily. Just what did they expect from you, Arata? <laughs> oh, you are known amongst these, huh? Next, you should go to the Eden community area. There, you will be asked the final question by the next game master. The first one to answer the question correctly will be given the rare comic. Okay, try your best and good luck. Yeah, that probably also help. Like, instead of wait for this guy and this, you say, a rat is coming over. Yeah. Yeah, that would probably help a lot. And BRB, gonna throw some food into the machine. Okay. So you don't die. The top tier game master should be around here somewhere. Let's look for him and answer the next question. I doubt it'd be the same guy, though that would be a way to save up on things. Or save up on people needed for this. Let's see. There you are. You're the top tier game master, right? Precisely. You finally made it here. Of course it would be you, Arata. So, should we get to the final question? Question. The main character in Baku and the Leeds, Shokuyo Haku, went to a school by the name of... That's an easy one. It's called St. Ray's Private High School, right? No. 
However, waste on it. I'm afraid I need to exact yeah, I need the exact name and address of the school. Okay, that's going to be a harder one since typically addresses aren't really given in shows. Now maybe more detailed ones or at and in manga. <laughs> Question plot twist just happened. I uh, but I don't know. Uh, we could take a wild guess. Uh, let's go for the mirror. Uh oh, sorry, wrong answer. Hmm, which one is it? Oh yeah, I, I think it came up in volume 18, the scene with the seat uh, with the school entry application act and acceptance. Hmm. Ah, damn it! Come on, I notice. I don't remember. Man, can you figure it out? How do you expect us to try? If you go ask some comic book nerds about uh, around the Broadway used bookstore, you'll probably know. Please. Is this allowed? Uh, well, as long as we come back and answer the question. Well, there's nothing said specifically about how we know this. Technically, you could just Wikipedia it, though it probably... <laughs> a wiki would not have this yeah, narrow a detail, I presume. Uh... A dedicated Wikipedia would have a random regular Wikipedia, you know, the standard Wikipedia that people are likely using less and less now? Yeah. No. Or the, uh, the, the fandom wikis. Not, not specifically speaking of fandom itself, but the company or whatever called fandom that's basically been leeching off of uh, just make, putting up... Uh, real cheap copy and paste stuff uh, with wikis online. <clears throat> what now? Uh, customer to use bookstore? No, yeah. That dried up the freaking bat again. Hmm? St. Therese High School's address? Who the hell are you and why are you asking me this out of the blue? St. Therese High School. You mean the one that the main character from Backwind Elite went to? We, well... You know, even though I'm an expert at everything to do with comic books, when you ask me out of nowhere like that... <laughs> eh, that's an easy one. St. Therese High School is at Kingston 58. But why are you asking? A rare comic contest? If you can answer the question, you get a copy of the legendary vi final volume of Bakudeli? What? No freaking way. Are you freaking kidding me? You gotta tell me about what? it. What? I just realized. He, he kind of almost looked like your avatar in a weird way. <laughs> okay. Now let's just run back before someone else answers us the question. I think the way he said, and then, what loudly just kind of nailed it from my brain that he. <laughs> You <laughs> look like you in a weird way. Oh yeah, that's it. It's a Kingston address. I can't remember the number. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up and answer already. Someone else will win the rare comic. <laughs> Big R's no. Oh, Anne. How did it go? You know the answer. That's it, Kingston 5-8. That's it exactly. Congratulations! That's the right answer. Yes, I did it. Um, thank you so much. That's it. You've answered all the questions. Please go to the Eden Free Area now. If you get there first, the comic will be yours. Yeah, man. <laughs> the mysterious guy who organized this contest seems to be in the Eden Free Area. Quick, let's go. Okay, I'm presuming they probably have different, uh, multiple of uh, these tiered uh, game masters, so people can just hang around the same one and try to overhear the answer, and they just run after them or something. Yep, then new area. Uh, Programming now. Heard I do. The reason Kowloon is considered so dangerous is that the hackers there use specialized programs. 
In the visual world, the programs manifest in three dimensions, so they can directly interact with targets. Do you find this very appealing? Yep, there you are. Hey, Rada! Oh, so close. Unfortunately, someone else got here before you. You are the second one here, Rata. No, really? Yes, it was really just a split-second difference, actually. Ugh, I can't believe it. <laughs> I tried so hard. <laughs> he, he tried so hard he forgot how to spell. Well, what can you do? It was fun, so I guess it's not a total loss. It was a nice way to pass the time. <laughs> well, then, Rata. Maybe we should hold another Rare Comic Contest in the future? Oh, cool. Yeah, definitely. Next time I'm the organizer. Hmm? Oh yeah, I know this guy. Hmm? I said he was suspicious looking? Uh, no, I never said that. Yes, you did. Or did you do that just to hook us in or something? Well, I think it spices things up a bit, calling him suspicious and all that. I can hear you, you fat, <laughs> you lousy bastard. Actually, I do that all the time with my friends. <laughs> this guy is, well, sort of my friend, or whatever. So you're saying your friends are sus? What is it? Something wrong? <laughs> you're just posing as such a nerd. <laughs> Don't say that. That's not true at all. Well, even so. It was fun, right? You should take part next time, too. Yeah, after digesting an entire library's worth of manga, probably. Back when deletes. A comic about hackers having engaged in battles with each other. Or ha having engaging? Okay, grammar. It's a comic for people like him who have a kind end of sickness. Okay. Still a rare comic contest among friends. I wonder why humans would bother putting so much energy into something so utterly fruitless. We really have a lot of time on our hands. Much better than spending all that time bored. Aha! How do you pay attention to what we just said there? <clears throat> Let's see. People are a never-ending source of surprises. I never picked up the as the type to hang around otaku crowd myself. Speak of the devil. <laughs> ちょっくら下調べに手間取ってよ。この計画はその それで時々不思議な移動をしてたんですね。秘密情報データベース。の、さらに奥にある。トップシークレットエリア。通称秘密の部屋。秘密の部屋。つまり、神城の最高秘密エリアってこと。言い換えれば、歴代CEO、今は岸辺の個人フォルダさ。聞けば
かしあの時の成果は結局空振りに終わってねなるほどそれでさらにその奥のエリアに目をつけたというわけかそういうことだ We missed a get in last time, but we didn't get too much of value. Connect jump or skyba. Kimit Joho database made no shinu a canoda. Mazu, Kamishiro no cone or scatte, Tokbet Shota Yuak to Ste, Oretachio, Kamishiro Honsha no Taiken Kaini Maneki Retegre. Kamishiro no CEO, Kishiberia Ga Iteta Daro, Eden no Daikibo update on a Taiken Kaida. お宅にはその会場の端末から機密情報データベースへ侵入してもらう侵入したら機密情報データベースの招待 URL を俺に転送してくれそこから秘密の部屋に潜入するというわけだなああそこに保管してある情報さえ手に入れればスエドウの思惑も神代の謎も全部解けるはずなんだでもってお宅にはもう一丁骨を使ってもらいて秘密の部屋に入るためのパスコードは毎日変更されてるらしくてなパスコードを知っているのは CEO の岸辺だけ岸辺に近づけるのはお宅だけなんだ私にパスコードを盗み出せっていうんですねま、そういうこった最高機密エリアに入ったら京子さんと通信できるようにセキュリティを解除しておく That's going to be risky. 京子さんを経由して俺たちにパスコードを教えてくれ I, I mean the, her, Yuko trying to get the password out of her because yeah if she just asks for it、uh, that's going to be my suspicious all on its own なんだよ今さら協力できないとか言い出すんじゃねえだろうないえそれは構いませんが一つお願いがあります秘密の部屋にはおそらく父の上白サトルの手記や研究データも残っているはずですそれも一緒に手に入れてもらえませんかそこにはきっと父の自殺の真相やエデン症候群にまつわる情報もあるはずですから。なるほど。確かに前回は決定的な情報を見つけることもできなかった。秘密の部屋になら、あるいは、ということか。ああ。そういうことなら構わねえぜ手間は変わらねえしなまっもっともそこにそのデータが本当にあるかどうかはわからねえけどそうですねもう一つデータの保管場所に心当たりはあるんですがエデンの量子的演算処理および制御の要であるバルハラサーバーエデン初期からのあらゆる履歴を刻むあそこになら確実においおいおいちょっと待てよバルハラサーバなんて随分物騒な名前を出してくるじゃねえかあれはレジェンドクラスのハッカーも寄せ付けない世界有数の超高難度セキュリティの塊だぜほう自信家の君が弱音とは珍しい痛い目を見た経験でもあるのかなう,うるせえなとにかくあそこはダメだ少なくともハッキングでどうこうできる代物じゃないでもデジモンプログラムを利用したハッキングにはきっと対処しきれない何だっていえとにかく秘密の部屋に潜入する時点で綱渡りなんだバルハラサーバーにまで行けってんなら話は別だ俺は手を引く
ここで君に降りられては元も子もないでは今回は秘密の部屋にターゲットを絞るとしよう、yeah, time. しかしないですね二頭を追う者は一頭を追えず They cost a little bit, but I need to grab my food. It says they speak Japanese, means I will not know what they are saying. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Bitterby. Okay, that'll give me a moment to check all the、uh, memory up locations. Uh, uh, Bisto. Mm hmm. Okay, I think we are up to date with all of the ones.、Uh, let me just double check.、Hmm. Ah, here is the list I was using. That's Demon's Hideout. Yes. Okay. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Uh. I'm drawing a bit of a blank on which chapter we're on. I think it's seven. We'll just have to double check in a bit. While we wait on the Rakir for a moment, as.、Uh, okay. Now I'm drawing another blank.、Yeah. Starting next week on the weekends, I believe, I'll be working one of, no, one of, the, week, you know, of the weekend days, not weekdays. So, yeah, we'll probably shift between Saturday and Sunday streams,、uh, oh, <laughs> depending on which of the you know, days、uh, I do need to work there. So, yeah, that, that's going to be a nuisance, but at least it's more stable. To have just a set work week,、uh, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then one weekend, instead of just、uh, every other day. <clears throat> that does mean I'll, <laughs> either way, I'll be working two days in a row either Friday and Saturday, or Sunday and then Monday directly after. So, yeah, that's going to be a pain in the neck. I want time to contact the. To... Oh, wait. I... I think I turned. Ah,、oh, right, yeah. I turned off streamer mode, so let me just put that back on.、Uh, if I can find where it is in here.、Um... Oh, there it is. Enable. Okay, that should avoid any more just beeps from people jumping in. We're、well, not jumping in on the DC, but just sending messages and such. Okay. <coughs> mm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think we should be up to date with everything. With the memories. Memory ops, at least. Are you memory? Welcome back. Thank you. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm saying. Okay. So, I'm going to go to the next one. Oh, chapter 9. Hmm. I think this one of the chapters soon will come on Questland. I have not done since. I thought I saved my game for、uh, my second playthrough just before it would be, I, I, I could activate it, but apparently I missed it. I will probably do it on Game Plus.、Uh, so, yeah, we may enter soon Questlines I haven't done even. You can digivolve. Uh, let's go for Seed Romance, since that one has been cited but not yet、uh, collected. Yeah, actually, reminds me, there's something nice I want to show us,、uh, you all here. If you go into the Digipedia、oh, thing, Field Guide. Field Guide, yes. So first, just checking. Okay, these are. 
these are not going to be at max level for quite a while. Let's see, field guide is over here. Careful. I feel the, the video here does something unique. Do you see the level four down on stats? That is very useful. Yeah, I don't really know of many other games like this who do something like that. Plus, you can also just use this to check out evolution lines. That, that, that one was kind of expected, but it's not so extremely useful when you're trying to figure out should I train or just level up when yeah. you after certain stuff for evolution. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Even tell you when they learn skills, provided you have that Digimon unlocked to begin with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess when it comes to Pokédex and I don't know what they are, what the other ones are named, this one I feel like is the best one so far. Well, let's just hope that whatever new game they're working on might be even better. Okay. Yep. Really disguised like this. Well, we got into the preview, no problem. Still, this is all pretty nerve-wracking. The thing with you is... Wyatt, don't use my real name. I'm gonna blow our cover, Anne. Fool. Now you're doing it. Oops, sorry, sorry. We lose everything if they see through our disguises. Let's be careful about this. I see you. I have all gathered here today. Thank you so much for your patience, everyone. This is the entrance to the upgrade review area. Please follow after me. Let me go in for a second with that I see you. Way too close for comfort. The venue is over there. Let's go. Okay, this is nice. Whoa, this is intense. They weren't kidding about it being a major upgrade. But this ain't the time to be gawking. Time to start our plan. Before that, don't you feel funny in these get-ups? I played around with the bit, a bit with the stealth hide you used before. Uh, this will help us recognize each other. There's nothing to worry about. Anyone else will see us as different people. Okay, ready to get started? Okay. Oh man, not this again. Did you just see that too? Phew, that's good to hear. Guess I don't need to have my head examined. But what was that then? Digital noise or something like that? Could it be related to Eden Syndrome? We don't have time to think about this now. For now, let's stick to the plan. We need to find a terminal and do a connection job. Contact me once you're in the database. Don't worry, I'll make a little noise to distract the Kamishiro employees. <laughs> Whoa, this is incredible. Sick, it's nearly identical to the real world. Sick, really just sick. Uh, young man, please keep your voice down. Nokia, the rebels are steadily building rank, but they'll need more uh, yeah, more to combat hackers. Okay. Uh, no, we're not yet. Nope. I see something over there. Yep, yep. Yeah, he's drawing quite a crowd. Drawing quite a crowd. But... And if you feel like I'm logged into Eden, I mean, it feels more uh, real than the real world. It just feels so comfortable here. Even just standing around is wonderful. Don't you agree? This must be what heaven's like. Yeah, we see that over there. Let's still check out around the place. I don't want to leave yet. I want to play more. <laughs> of course. I don't know why, but this is so fun. I'm going to live in Eden forever. <laughs> Hello there. Okay, as nice as all this looks, this 
is basically just high definition screensavers. So not uh, really helping with my idea that they're just doing this to distract from uh, yeah. everything. I just realized, because you know how old this game technically is? Five years? No! Oh, right, more than that. The, the, the complete edition is 2019. Yeah. And the one on PS4 came out much later. And before that, it was on PSP or Vita or something? Okay. Uh, I probably should remove them. And just look at this game. It has aged well. Yeah. That, that's the thing with cell shading style games. Because they go more for style than high definition stuff, they tend to look better even years later. Better yeah. compared to games that try to go for realistic stuff. Oh, you mean you mean hyper realistic? Yeah. That may fry a computer. Is there anything hidden down this path? Quite a long one. Uh, nope, it's not a dead end. Oh dear. But I think I know which one this is. Um, I will give people a warning. Be careful when you drink. Okay, that's something in general. Oh, I mean, I mean, uh, for the sake of it, you don't want to spit over your computer screen or anything else. Okay. I'm not gonna say why. But I feel like this is Nothing probably a good around. moment to warn about it. It doesn't look like there's any hidden stuff around here because none of these are dead ends. Okay. Well, let's, let's kick another pair of bearded meatballs around and then we'll head out of here. And I think it says a bit about the current power gap that even a a half damage attack almost kills. And a triple damage <laughs> definitely takes them out. Okay. Hmm. I probably should look at upgrading or digivolving someone. I'm a bit unsure if I should focus on Digivolution or just expanding the number we have at the moment. Hmm? I can't send the invitation URL. Better get in touch with the Rata. Hey, it looks like you got in easily enough. Now send me the invitation URL. What? You can't send it? There's a block on it? Hmm. Stupid old Kamishiro database. Okay, I'll try and do something from my end. For now, track down and break through the security so we can contact Yoko. Nikki Yoko, flip. Why, why did I say Yoko? Hey, hang in there. No need to be nervous over something like this. Talk to you later. Let's press on. Security should be around here somewhere. Let's head on up or down, whichever way this goes. Okay, Avalon server. Hello. Not even an introduction or anything? Okay. Uh, let's see. That should be good. That was a bit wasteful there. Oh, uh, Metal Mammon. I remember his voice actor in Digimon World 2. Okay. How to describe him? Really, really pissed off. Okay. Basically... Yeah, just imagine all, a lot of rage compacted into that tiny body. As he raises his arm cannon and scream, energy bomb. Okay, I probably should use that anti-paralysis from German Lord because he's not really doing much with it. Basically yeah. wasting a turn. Hopefully fixed, but yeah. 
I also want to see what made the matter. And yet he's still so loud, like he's trying to hold in his anger. Oh. Here comes it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Just finish it by. Yep. Okay, I didn't know. Okay. How did that? Hmm. To my knowledge, or wait, is that maybe a special of them or something? Because I'm pretty sure of the launch capacity USB and researcher. Okay. Take a look at those. After this. <laughs> Caught up with you. I was about to try to bust through security head on, but it went down on its own just now. I don't suppose you did anything? I see. The Digimon you took out must have been there in place of normal security. Digimon aren't the sort of thing you can take out from the outside. Like, usually you can't even take them out from the inside either. Lucky you went on ahead of me. Okay, we better secure a line to Kyogo. Hang on a second. Still, this is a nasty situation. If Digimon are being used for security purposes, then Kamishiro staff might be using them for all sorts of ends. Could this actually be a, uh, yeah, could this actually all be a part of that jerk Suedo's plan? Okay, I've gotten through. Got talking to Kyoko Am. I've been waiting. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hey, we did it. We're reading you loud and clear, Kyoko. Ah, well done. And now for the passcode. Yeah, he is hoping that girl does her part. Don't worry about her, she'll do a good job. She's a bit wet behind the ears, but she's desperate and there's nothing scarier. And no one more dependable than a novice who's desperate. Um. Uh, <laughs> You may have a point there. There's also more, a lot more likely to screw up, though, I'd say. <laughs> I'll check with her word for the passcode. Okay, then. We'll head off to the secret room. And trust you'll get us the passwords, right? Well, this cat... Oh, that also just works. Just stealing it straight from our office. Just a little... Just a little more... Or digital office. Trivia, what is the nickname for the gigantic really we just had this one before? It's the traffic controller ain't here, just some dude covering. What you do? <laughs> I should leave free right now. Also, we did nothing we had nothing to do with a <laughs> traffic controller. Uh, since some cookies you might like, it may take a few weeks to arrive. <laughs> okay. Uh they may Hopefully they're refrigerated or something because they might oh, go. St they're likely. Well, they will go stale in during that time. Well, it depends. If they're in a package, they should be fine as long as nothing breaks the seal. Right. We can just remove it from there. Yep. Okay. We actually, we actually have room for one more. Yeah. Oh, that should warn you. You want every chest in here. Yeah, I'm presuming at least one of them is going to have a memory up. And yeah. this is just oh. a dead end. Oh, I have uh, good and bad news about this area. Okay. It's a very good place to earn XP. Well, we did have a... F Actually, no, there was a boss fight, so that doesn't really count. But we did have a fight earlier, which was just 2,000 experience on its own. Okay, 90. So that would be 2700 with the, <clears throat> the platinums. Yeah. Right. Here's the bad news. No. There's a reason why you get uh, a lot of XP from this area. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm guessing this is where the, the levels of the enemies are going to jump first. If it's not a dead end. Uh, no, more of. Uh... A lot of them will attack you. Uh, what's up? We can't go any further. Hey, now, what do you think it came along? A newbie like, no, a newbie like you might not see it, 
But if you can find a point in the security net that's more strained than others... Here we go. Here we go, we just make our own breaks. And now security itself is our way in. Okay, let's go. Okay, oop. Let's wrap that. Also... There we go. That should lessen the amount, at least. I just take it out for, again, XP, XP. Yeah. But for uh, screen? Yeah. Let's hope we don't need to stick around here for too long. And I think I might need to start using some uh, SP consumables. Because they're starting to burn through it quite quickly. Mm. There we go. Uh, not really worth wait. it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that means we should reverse, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we better check uh, the USB things. I didn't mean exactly on that exact moment, but just that I need to keep them in mind since we're likely going to need them. Though I'm pretty sure I have more than plenty. I think one of them is increased XP. Alright, oh, oh yeah, the USB ones. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'll check from I'll check for I'll check those after this. Okay. Uh, not that. There. Let's see. It has to be attached. No. Guards. Plus 10 combo rate. Always escape. Oh, increase throw drop rates for items. Those those would be good on the for the grinding. And increase data obtained when scanning. That is also very good. Let's just put both of those on at the moment. I probably still have a few that I need to uh, I need to convert because they are 200 percent, and we do have the room for it now. It's Brave Point D. What does that do? Actually, I should give all of these some stuff. Uh, pen block. Me as well. Okay, it's not an equipable. Okay. Um. Yeah, let, let's give you these since, well, you'll get the most out of them. Uh. For a, moment, I, for a moment, I misread it as attack uh, B and such. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't have any accessories. Okay. Uh, you're evenly not evenly spread with these. So let's give you one for both of them. I'm just going to throw the first thing at them, basically. Well, I may... I'll probably do this more... You know, I'll, I'll improve this between streams to give them more specifically what they would yeah, get more use out of. There. I should also look up where the heck I get accessories from. Yep, got that one right. Uh, I was shocked how it tastes like one of your snacks when my contact gave me one. Okay. Oh, so you're free? How about you try some traffic control? Swap in for me. No. This you can do it yourself. Free. Uh, yeah, date is a bit... Uh, 
forest full. Some health sprays. And there's the thing we need. Welcome back! Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back, Elizabeth. No. Prepare the bug spray. Also, uh, <laughs> I did something I probably should have done at the very start with this game. And it was to mark down which of the uh, spots for which evolutions. Uh, when you look when you look at Digivolving Digimon, the specific ones that they can turn into are always in the same order. Uh, uh, there we go. So I just needed to note down in which position the ones I wanted are. Super easy. Yeah, so that way I don't need to stop things to look up which ones it is again. It's probably going to be a good to keep track of what they need trained, that we say ABI, since some require yeah. high intelligence, strength, or whatnot. Yeah, I'll try to have things more planned out for when we get the hack of memory. I already have a full team planned out for that. With a full team of 11. It's a little bit odd that it's 11 total. I think yeah. they drowned things to like 12 or something, but yeah, with three in the front and eight in the back, it would be, look a bit odd to have nine in the back. So it does make sense in that way. Hmm. Well, Anything I guess it's just based on all of us, you have uh, four ranks, to speak, mm -hmm. metaphorically. Uh, may maybe something for the next. Uh, for the next game, to have four, uh, four that can be in combat at once. That would be interesting. Mm. But I can see why they could be three, since that is the usual number we yeah. can balance around. But four is also a common number, so possibly. Escape e Even with in reduced encounters, we're getting so many. Yeah, they warn you! And as you see, th this area has usually a lot of good loot and good XP. But the XP is coming from you having to zigzag around everywhere to get the loot. Yeah. Okay. Um. I do it. Before we actually move on with this here, I'll probably have to call a quick BRB. So. Yeah. Be, be right back. Uh, nature be uh, starting to scream again. There we go. Hello, hello. Okay, like, oh, I got dragged into helping a hole or something. Luckily, it didn't Over take here. too long. Uh, shake from to me to get. Can't take too much, but now it's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I, I think it's supposed to need to get fruit or something. Okay, uh. Copy paste. And you got all the loot? I think so. I think that might be one further down by the gate. I would not be surprised if you almost missed. I think we got both of those. You can see on the mini map there's no boxes there. Oh, you can't reach uh, that area to see what you mean by from there. Pretty sure we got sight on the path to the entrance. I'm meaning up there. Okay, we can check in a sec. Okay. Yeah, you're not doing you're seeing it. Oh, crap. So I think we got those. Hmm. Again. I did You can get a lot of XP! But it's most of them in almost non-stop fighting! And this is with the with the chance already reduced. Okay. Yeah, I think we got all of them. Otherwise, I'll be back here sooner or later. And according to where the memory ups are, there isn't one here. Hmm. 
Yeah, the next one is supposed to come from a red mission, number 16. Now we just continue killing the gun rabbits. The gun bum! Let's get out of here. Okay. Let me actually check for a second. Yeah, 80 of 80. Capsules. More capsules. And the next, another stage of these. Okay. It would be nice if we could have our minimap zoomed out a bit more or something. Yeah, I hope to fix that in the future. So there's a better minimap. Even just being able to move it around a bit with the right sticks would work, since that doesn't that doesn't get used for anything, I think. Having it be yeah, having it be able to move around a bit would be nice. Okay, yep, really. In, in Furmon's face, it looks like a freaking wooden puppet, doesn't it? It reminds me a bit of Scarface, uh, Scarface from uh, Batman. The, the puppet with the gun in the head. Uh, let's see. Uh, you, you almost missed loot. Yeah, it's this it... way, but we need oh, to find yeah. the boss okay. to it. Uh, okay, it's going to be from the middle there. Yeah, let me just see why you end up fighting so mobs mobs. Or enemies while trying to get all the loot. Yeah. Some pearls. Nice, but not really needed. But, I will say again, enemy XP is welcome. Yeah. Since we won't be able to, well, expand or evolve our party for a bit. I think I'm actually going to swap Pika around for Rom here. He is a he is of a lower rank champion compared to Ultimate, but he is a it is now a full team of virus, vaccine, and data. Okay, let's try and get that box. Yeah, yeah, that box. And we'll probably need that blue coat for something. Otherwise, it wouldn't be that far out of the way. Spider patch. I think, uh, oh, I think I know what Brave, brave Point thingy is. A consumable, probably, for raising a stat. No, but almost. XP. Okay. If my memory serves me right. I had a check. lot of them at one point ago. Oh, I could have used these earlier. Let's see. The recovery ones. Oh, yeah, they have their experience. Okay. Uh, those lower them. Did you add the courage? Right. Hmm. <laughs> okay, for, for such an important server of yeah, Kamishiro's, it's pretty buggy, isn't it? Oh, no. That's probably the, the intended joke, even. Likely. Okay, one left. Not the time for the birds and the bees. Flowers and the wasps? <laughs> Whatever. Okay. More levels. Here's the thing. In England, uh, in English they say birds and the bees. Yep. However, there's a similar say in Sweden, maybe rest of Scandinavia, I don't know. Maybe say 
Blommor och bin. Okay. Flowers and bees. Now we, now we am kind of curious where the whole term birds and the bees came from. Since yeah, it is the flowers and the bees. Yeah, if I don't eat bees, you can get the... It's easy to get flowering bees, but they uh, it's supposed to be flowery. Oh god, I made a pun there. Flowery words. Or yeah, okay, Susan. Susan. It doesn't but really flow as easily since flowers and bees, birds and the bees, birds and the bees flow faster, easier. Yeah, but I always see people make jokes about the birds and the bees. Like a hybrid between a bird and a bee? <laughs> well, could be done in Impossible Creatures with the expansion. Yeah, and I think I may have seen that as one of the many weird jokes from Family Guy. Probably. But Family Guy and all that those shows are so old right now that they probably done, done jokes on just about everything. Yeah, and... As far as I know, I actually recall hearing, I think I said this before, many people that work with Simpsons, whenever they get a chance to do a new show, like for the drama and is Enchanted, they share the joy for doing them. Yeah, because they've, been, something... they've just been doing Simpsons for so long that they're fucking sick of it. Yeah, and they are really working hard to make it funny. That's why the home gets dumber and dumber. And also, I yeah. need to get dumber and dumber. So the when they get, get more and more flanderized. Yeah, so when they get a chance to make, make something new, like, again, with the drama and this enchanted, which I both enjoyed way more than Simpsons, I can really see when I watch the show that, yep, yeah, they had fun making this. Yeah. Then I remove. Anti paralyzed from Durban Lord, or did he relearn it? Pretty sure I removed it, so why do they have it again? Mm. Wait, wait, wait! Captain! Look what you found! <laughs> friendship DX. <laughs> okay. You found friendship after all this time! <laughs> Remove it. Okay. Let's, yeah, let's put that in. That way, uh, that's just playing weaker. There's no need for his weaker version. And uh, let's put that in, even though we probably won't use it. And another machine break. Heaven's Thunder. The nano machine is stronger than that. Yeah, and he's. Is he a magic user or a physical user? Well, I need to check in a second. First, let's actually put a lot more revive stuff on Lizzie here. And now they have just a very powerful heal, an AoE heal, and an actual revive in case someone does go down. Um, yeah, this one won't be of much use. Put that in, since well, yeah. Lilymon is not a, a physical attacker. He's an intelligent, so they will use a magic attack. Rob yeah, close is close enough. Ah, Rob has a high, highest defense, but attacking intelligence not too far. Actually, he has the boost at the attack. Yeah, from the from these. Let me actually magic, magic, physical, physical. Okay, a, a decent spread. Okay, now let's put this thing here. I thought there was a third one of these, but I must have missed. You know, I must have uh, confused some one of these for something in the background. Well, I think that there are real commissions where you have, need to do with even more of these. Scan that. Unlock codes. Left pattern blue. Okay. Oh. Okay, so... Yeah, you were supposed to talk to that being first. 
Uh, uh, so I just but need you... to swap these around. Wait, it didn't say it was okay? Uh, right pattern. Okay, blue needs blue needs to be on the left, and right needs to be on the. Uh, uh, copy. Now, can I swap these around, or do we need to go all the way back? I need to I need to go all the way over there again. Okay, I, I kind of yeah. thought putting those there would unlock the middle thing, but that's my bad then. Yeah, I thought it actually did. Okay. It might have helped if Arata said something like, uh, let's check that file for anything, but oh well. There should be a memory up in this chapter, but not from this. From one of the uh, in-between missions. Red 16 we'll have to keep an eye out for. Yeah, and again, I, I'm, don't, you, I'm not you, people. You want to keep track on those memory ups and, well, a lot of things. Yeah. Hmm. Well, have you already seen how much the captain already struggled with the Figure out which to bring on and leave it at home and all. I wish to dig it up all. Let me actually put open this list up in a more permanent browser instead of having to look for it every time. There we go. Now we can just open up the, the tab for it instead of having to go look for it again. It also means that I can look up how much the maximum amount of memory is. Uh, 250. Oh. There's a famous 250. Okay, what's one of these doing here? Okay. At least it's, it's a larval one. Okay, I might have won. Yeah, since since there's no advantages here, we're just going for maximum power with our ultimates. Uh, Pika. There. In time! Okay. I just realized you turned me into that thing again. Okay, this, this shouldn't take too long. So I should probably have... <laughs> I... Good. Oh, wait, there. I'm being died. For a moment I thought I forgot to swap out Marco, but no, that's... <laughs> that's a rat that's in firm on. Are you sure I like, you using auto button on this? Yep. Uh, this will be the last blow. As long as one isn't heavily damaged. <laughs> really? Okay. okay. We for first level 50. こいつも神城のセキュリティってんじゃねえだろうな。待たせたな。ゆうこくんがパスコードを手に入れてくれたぞ。Don't know which would be more worrying, an eater actually being part of the security network or an eater getting through the security network to feast on whatever it can find in here. おお、やってくれたな。今転送する。just in time. Ray K. Really? No, read it out. <laughs> Ray K. Totes of Dwarfs. Did you say it? It's the key to the secret room. Is it like that? If you're going to get rid of this pass, it's probably not possible. If you're 
彼女の性格を知り抜いていればあるいは推測できたかもしれないが理恵ちゃん萌え萌え理恵ちゃん萌え萌えだ<笑>パスコードは毎日変わると言っただろうそのパスコードはまだまともな方だちなみに昨日のパスコードは<笑> We don't wanna know. いややはり伏せておこう未成年の君たちには少し刺激が強すぎるえちょおいさあ先へと進んでくれ彼女の頑張りに報いるためにも必ず潜入を成功させてくれ気になるどうしよう We were relieved He When she used the term, he got curious. Corre de Dai Shop, Nahaze Hayak Kokora de Nakteva. That's no good. Uh, the kid apparently problem on is having issues <laughs> getting along with everyone. Oh, do you have a cocoa meat? I don't know. He needs no hair. Don't he needs to get a cocoa meat? I don't know. She got a cocoa meat. I don't know. She got a cocoa meat. I don't know. She got a cocoa meat. I want to stay far away from. No, Kia Pui Kanjijan, no, Darona. Pretty sure both would be offended to be compared to the other. Toriaz, Yasaga, she says it in Morose. ここが上城のトップシークレットエリアだなんてとにかく早くお目当てのデータを見つけねえとなお宅は向こうを調べてくれ Oh great she's not even CEO for a week or so and she's already trying to turn everything to whatever the hell she intends with all of this bullshit お何か見つけたかなんだよそのド派手なボロ切れはこ,これはポアンチー Really? なんでこのもんが入ってるんだい,いつまで握ってんだよしまっとけよ Did she really just turn the, the most secure spot or one of the most secure spots for their data storage into a personal digital bedroom? Uh, and you win, of course, with that one first. And uh, let's be honest. Nanda, Kondoa. Nieno Kun Kuniki. Go ahead. I was like, I think even Hellside will struggle to get in to get those. まさかこれが極秘情報のライブラリだってのか。二人とも大丈夫か？何かあったのかよ、京子さん。アップデート体験会で騒ぎが起きているようだ。騒ぎ？なんだってんだ？体験会の会場だったな。It's a bit more than one, Arata. Kamishiro is now. エデンのサービスを緊急停止している 
so they trapped those people in there with them. If they don't all get eaten, that is. これは… キング攻撃による私は兄がお世話になっ私じゃあ、でも、言う人は。だから、私につい、うっかり、を、起こさせないためにも、私の個人データにアクセスするなんていたずら。もうしちゃダメよ。And oh. the mask falls away, slips at the very least. リエさん、答えてください。デモンズの発火を利用して一体何をするつもりなんですかあら、私、絶対諦めませんから。いや。かわいい。半泣きでプルプル震えながら喧嘩売られたわ。ねえ、キュンキュン<笑> あっちの準備はどうなの、アケミちゃん。もう強い。続けなく。バージョンアップの成果はあったみたいね。
はいイーターの行動原理理論はこれでほぼ立証できたのではないでしょうかいやー頑張ってるじゃないそれじゃああれのテストド派手にやっちゃってねアケミちゃんえいえいお任せあんとっておきの舞台をご用意しますその日は私とあなたにとって忘れられない日となることでしょういやーなんだかロマンチックさあ行きましょうあけみちゃんこっち見たよなあのおっさん俺たちのこと気づいてるって合図しやがったんだぜその上で手出しするつもりはねえってさああもう訳わかんねえ敵なのか味方なのかどっちだよ Very likely that he's just on his own side. どうやらこのリエのキュンキュン日記ってやつが極秘情報のライブラリーになっているらしいコピーはもうバッチリ取ってやる解読はそっちに戻ってからゆっくりやればいいさ上出来だならばすぐにそこを脱出したまえ混乱が生じている今なら堂々と正面玄関から出てこられるだろうけど体験会場のイーターは放っておいてもいいのかエデンのサーバーは現在停止状態になっているこれ以上被害者は増えないはずだイーターを全て始末しようという熱意は買うが奴らと接触し虎の子の機密情報をバグ化されてしまっては元も子もない了解事務所に戻ろうぜ Splitting up wouldn't be a good idea either. Yep, and I think you missed one thing there, but it's not the most funniest one. Kamishiro Kara Seshkini Hapyongata Yahari Kamishiro Akui Yaru Haka Nute Taikin Kaina Bogai Sareta to Hapyostayoda Sankasha no Chibuka Eden Shokogu Natanomo Haka no Sedata Maskominga Savai de Rumita Desne. ふざけんなよな自分たちに都合の悪いことは全部ハッカーのせいかよ Yeah, a group that is little of which little is known about and most of that what is quote unquote known about is bad is are they make for easy scapegoats 一般市民からすればハッカーはあくまでアウトロースケープゴートにはもってこいなのだろう日頃の行いに語られたといったところだなこれはさすがに失言だったかまあしかしこの騒ぎのおかげで君たちの潜入がうまくいったと言えなくもないけどスウェードは俺たちに気づいてたのにわざと見逃したんだ理由はわからねえけどなそうかひょっとするとその理由はこの中にあるかもしれないぞそれは俺たちが秘密の部屋から入手してきたリエのキュンキュン日記予想通り神代の極秘情報をまとめたライブラリーになっていて Can we just call that thing just the diary? コードの暗号化が施されていたが先ほどようやく解読できたで中には何がパラダイスロスト計画 OK パラダイスロスロト計画そうだ聞いたことはあるかなそれはそうだろうこの私でさえ初耳だったどうやら神代はその大規模な計画を実行するためにデジタルウェーブをコントロールしているようだってことは最近多発してるデジタルシフトは神代が意図的に起こしてるってことかいや
意図的というのは若干語弊がありそうだな上白の狙いはパラダイスロスト計画の達成デジタルシフトはあくまでその副産物に過ぎないようだ今回のエデン大型アップデートもその計画の一部のようだなそれでパラダイスロスト計画というのは一体うん残念ながら資料にはその内容までは書かれていなかったしかし資料に記載されていた主任責任者の名前が実に興味深くてね主任責任者一体誰なんだもったいつけないと教えろよスウェードをあけみだよなあポロスなんだってあのおっさんはそれともう一つ面白い情報が含まれていた初めてエデン症候群になった患者についてだよ今から8年前電脳空間エデンをオープンするにあたりクローズドベータテストが実施されたそうだそのテスト中に予期せぬエラーが発生しとある事故が起きた事故に巻き込まれた人間のうち1人の意識が回復せずそれが初のエデン症候群患者となった最初の被害者かそいつは何てやつなんだそれは今後の調査の課題の一つだな信じられねえな8年前からエデン症候群の被害者が出てるってのにずっと情報を隠してエデンを運営し続けているわけだろう些細なことでやめるわけにはいかなかったのだろうな大企業の恐ろしさといったところだろう Still relevant to this day. だからこそこの情報は有益だまたよし刑事と共有しておくことにするよ孤決にいらずには孤児を得ず君たちは非常に重要な孤児を得てきたようだああの父の神代悟に関する情報は何も見つからなかったんでしょうかああ少なくとも持ち帰ってきたデータの中にはなかったようだあの部屋にだってそれらしいものはなかったぜ他にあったものって言ったらド派手な下着くらいのもんでそうでしたか力になれなくて悪い。協力してくれてありがとうな失礼しますえおいちょっと待てよもう協力はできないかもしれませんうん思うところありといった様子だなおいおたく追いかけてちょっと話してこいよ聞いてただろあいつエデン症候群の兄貴がいてそのことで脅されたり口止めされたりして okay, don't think it specifically said that but okay but he is right on the blackmailing part そんでもって親父さんの夢でもあったエデンまであの岸辺って女に乗っ取られそうになってるお前だってそんな体なんだ無関係じゃねえ俺は励ますとか慰めるとか柄じゃねえけどオタクはそういうのを向いてんだろ行ってこいよ、so、少し見直したぞ少年思っていたより仲間思いのようだな京子さんに褒められても嬉しくねえよそうかでは言葉ではなく行動で激励してやろうコーヒーの新作ができたんだ、uh -oh. I think that 今回は特別にオイスターソースをマシマシにしてあげようそれともリンゴ酢多めの方がお好みかなえっあの何ですかまだ何かひょっとして
心配して追いかけてきてくれたんですかありがとうございますあ一つ聞いてもいいですかあなたは元の体に戻りたいですかそうですかそうですよね<笑>どうしてこんな当たり前のことを聞いているんでしょう迷いは消えました私も当たり前のことをしてみようと思いますそれでは失礼しますWell, time to get another stamp on the ambulance uh, card, huh? What is the soul for apple cider vinegar? Uh, also, I forgot to say this, but it, it, I wasn't busy for, you know, for seven hours of grinding. I just forgot to double save last time. So let's do that now at the very least. Uh, what kind of person is your mama? Reporter, we've seen that one before. Okay. Is the memory up one in here? Oh. Okay, no, actually, a new one. Oh, yeah, look up the guide, I think. Let's see. I know I said not to worry about it, but do. You, but how do you think Nokia's doing? Is she still looking for allies in Kowloon? Yeah. Let's look at the guide to see if there's any info on any victory to share us this chapter. The, the only thing I have here is the the memory of locations. Oh. Let's see. Is she going... She's either going to be the deepest point in or... Or at Galacta Park. Uh, Let's check there first. Uh, 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 I think we need to give the record play the slap. <laughs> because the key is stuck. Hello. You're Aquino's friend, right? I have a request for you. Oh, that's right. You're the cyber sleuth. I'll send the case ahead. I'll send the case info ahead to your office. That was easy enough. Okay. As Mame Mon gets escorted. No, 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 uh, no. I'm doing the escort. Well, they're at the back and front of you, so you're getting escorted. Okay. I do have back to ask, Captain. Captain, I want you to answer me honestly. Why? <laughs> okay, expanding the Nokia Corp. It's uh, a... I want to help Akino, but I'm totally powerless. I need you to help instead of me. Okay, we get a friendship DX from that. Uh, let me actually do a quick count. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... Actually, no, it's... Uh, 5, 7, 10, 12, 12... It doesn't... Re the guy doesn't say what the case is called, only gives it a number. So maybe this one gives the... Maybe this gives the upgrades. Yeah, here's me. If you looked at the proper guide, they will tell you the actual name of the missions and recommended order to take them. Yeah, but then I'd have to look all over the place for where the memory ups are. And looks like I'll have to call another quick BRB because I'm getting asked to help lift something again. So, uh, actually. I forgot to note when I got back from the previous one, so I'll just mark 150, and I'll just have to look around for that. Uh, let's see, two, three, five, and yeah, be back in like a minute or two, hopefully. It's not too much lifting, but it's still just a washing machine, so it's heavy as all hell. Okay, back again, uh, three, eight, okay. Yeah, they're doing something with uh, <clears throat> completely cleaning and even refurbishing the washing area a bit. 
That's probably usually good if you're replacing it since let's be honest, there could be a lot of dust and gonna a lot of dust be flying about. Oh, you came to see me? Thanks, dude. I'm a newbie in the Rebels. My name's Yasu. I'll get to the case details in just a sec, but first there's something I want to check. Basically, I just need to know, are you a member of the Rebels? Uh, are, what are you? What aren't you? What do you mean? It seems a bit vague. Akino didn't mention you, but it seems like you want to join the Rebels. So please, keep watch over Akino. That is your duty. You're the one who changed her, so it's the least you can do. If you let her get into danger, we'll never forgive you. Uh, sure, a guy we never knew before <laughs> do not give a damn about. And, well, like, I love her, so... Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? I'm screwed. I, I love her, but I like her and I want to leave her. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> please don't make fun of me. I'm being serious. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. There are rumors that some of the hackers who Akino invited to join us have something against her. I'm powerless. If anything should happen, I want to protect. I want you to protect Akino. Simple enough. Thanks. Akino's on Kowloon level one now. Go and look out. Uh, yeah, look for her. Okay, just simple bodyguard duty for a bit. Well, it's Kowloon level one. What's the worst that can happen here? Uh, speaking of, I probably should do this just to not, just to uh, avoid as many encounters as possible because we just don't get mu anything out of these here. Best we get is like a point of camaraderie. I think we change uh, here later. And there she is. Hmm? Is that okay? I'm asking you to do your best to watch over her secretly. If there's an emergency, that's a different story. Otherwise, just watch her from the farm. That's what a real man does. Um. Yeah. Okay. Hmm? What is it? You want to join the rebels? You'll join, right? You wouldn't have talked. Uh, you wouldn't have talked for so long about this if you weren't interested. Why should I join such a shady group? Do it for Eden, for the Digimon. There's problems will be there whether I join or not. Anyway, I'm the last person who could change things. I never uh, got good grades in school. I don't have a girlfriend, I don't have a job. There's no way I'm gonna change anything. That doesn't matter. There will come a time when we in the Digimon need all the help we can get, even the little things you can do. Now, so if you join the Rebels, your grades will get better. If Nokia... What? But you will get a girlfriend, you'll even find a job. Really? No. I don't actually know. Everyone gets different results. <laughs> so literally, your mileage may vary. But he is more likely to run into people, well, he can talk with, uh, study together with, get to know. And maybe, yeah, just <laughs> ask around for jobs and such. Well, I believe in you. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> it's been a while since I heard someone say that to me. But you're being truthful with me. All right, it's a deal. I'll join the Rebels. Really? <laughs> awesome, thanks. Awesome, that's amazing. Akino, yeah, you have a gift for recruiting, you know? Yes, we're coming to the city by near you. Okay. Um. Actually, now that I think about it, you're actually pre really pretty. Is it okay for me to date the leader? Huh? So, uh, that's... <laughs> that might be a problem. That jerk is pushing his luck. How can he just make a pass at Akino so casually? I'm gonna put a stop to this. I'm gonna beat the crap out of this guy. And now you're the one going to cause trouble. <laughs> Go, me at, let me at him, let me at him! Uh. This is great. So I'm gonna tell everyone about this. They have to know. <laughs> they have to know how about how I met a hot girl. Uh, no, wait. Don't. <laughs> a hot girl, you say? Never mind. 
Nokia, you did it. Yeah, apparently I'm a hot girl. No, not that. You successfully recruited him. <laughs> Way to undercut her. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's great. Are you seriously more happy about <laughs> being called hot? Of course you did it. Haven't you, yeah, haven't you gotten used to the fact that you're the leader now? Thanks. But we still need more members. Also... Also... My ability to lead is not quite there yet, either. I still can't face Hugo or Faye. You are too strong. Let's see. Maybe we got stronger. Oh no, no, I didn't mean you guys. I'm worried that I don't have what it takes. Not enough practice, maybe? Not enough practice, maybe? Yeah, me neither, actually. All you need is a bit of motivation. Hmm? Really? Motivation? Well, anyway, sitting around here trying to figure this out won't do any good. Right, time to go recruit more hackers. Let's go. Go. Oh. Now, there's one thing she's really good at, and it's positive reinforcements. Which, honestly, these days, people need more of. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, so brave, so tender. I'm falling for her. Now, she's getting away. I've got to protect her. Isn't that what we're here for? Looks like Nokia's going to Kowloon. We're already in Kowloon. Uh, southernmost district in Tokyo. Uh, oh, I, I have known this one. I have forgotten. Okay, I'm presuming she went this way. <laughs> okay, I hope I don't have to go all around looking for her now. Though no, it looks like that's going to be the case. Um, I didn't say a guide is very helpful. Let's... Yeah, she's somewhere in here. Also, put that all the up again. Okay. You should have tiny shield will protect you. Yeah, any little bit helps. Where did she run off to? Probably in the next area. Okay. Oh no, simple enough. Just completely vaporized them. There she is. Okay. Hey, do you want to join the Rebels to help protect the Digimon? Please? I understand your feelings towards Digimon, but... I honestly doubt the Rebels are going to change anything. It all depends on how hard we try. The team is just... Uh, has just... You've been set up recently, right? You guys are no match for the Zaxxons. Whether we're, if we are or not, we still have to try. We have to try? Are you sure? Yes, because if we, do, if we don't, no matter how much time goes by, the Digimon situation won't, situation won't change. Whoa, 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 hold on there. <laughs> oh, no blocking hacker. You're that girl who's been going around asking hackers to join you, aren't you? Hmm? Who are you? Oh, wait, stop. You don't want to get dragged into this. Oh, but wait, wait! Hey, who are you? You let the guy I was trying to recruit get away. <laughs> you don't know. Oh, you don't know about me because you're an outsider. Hmm? Outsider? I am feared, loathed, despised, and shunned by the hacker community. I am a legendary hacker of infamy. Legendary hacker of infamy? Don't legendary and infamy <laughs> pretty much mean the same thing? Uh, legendary is more neutral. Infamy is, well, very much on one side. Hmm? Oh, I get it. You're the annoying comic relief character, right? <laughs> well, if you're looking for a moron position, I'm afraid I'm not hiring right now. We've got too many morons as it is. Oh, burn. <laughs> what did you say? 
and proclaim legend. Oh no, this is a bad situation. Say what? Oh, that's it. I'm gonna pound your face into dust. Oh, so you're going to fight me then? You wanna battle? You think this might foreshadow something? Exactly, you get it, Gabuan. Well, if that's how you want it, bring it on. He's in danger, and... Um, who the hell are you? Are you a backup? What? I don't have time for this. Let's finish this. Okay. Oh, yeah. She, she was going to get stomped if we didn't step in. Okay, that's two Megas. War Draymond Black and Weir Gururum. No, Metal Gururum on Black. Okay. Both virus, so Pika can stay, but these two need to move. Or Tatum yeah, and Durvenbord. Okay. It still feels a bit uh, concerning. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Speed charge. Okay. Okay, what, what, what's with the health options? Uh, uh, this. 750 should do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, guess we can use it one more time. Oop. Odd that they managed to pull it off twice in a row, though. I'm not sure what trick might have triggered that. Okay. Yep. Okay, that is absolutely nothing. A dum dum uppercut. Ten percent chance of stun. Yep. Also nothing. Yep. Are we supposed to lose this or? Yep. Okay, unwinnable battle. Who is this guy? He's so strong. What is this? I thought it was all talk, but... <laughs> you lose. We have to help Nokia. With all our strength. Uh, uh, Agumon? Gabumon? What happened to your... You really didn't know about Digivolution until now, just now? I am Ward Raymond. I am Metal Gururumon. A desire to help Nokia has made us Digivolve. Digivolve? Come on, Nokia, let's do this. We we will show you our power. Okay, I'm pretty sure I would have been able to beat these two <laughs> without this, but still, <laughs> the hope is appreciated. And please do your best one more time. Your health and stats are back to full now. <laughs> Thank you, Nurse Joy. Okay, now he's now he's starting to play smart as well. Oh. I think I remember acceleration boosts. I think that basically make leads to triple damage on something. Let's speed ourselves up at least. Oh yeah, the thing about when you have a Digimon that comes to mega level in this game, you get two signature attacks. Yep. That's 45, that's 90 total. Still I doesn't really do much. Don't forget, there may be soon an official new extra evolution stage. Oh? Ultra. Yeah, Ultra is already a thing, I believe. Yeah, but it seems to be will soon be official, official. That some Digimon ever 
Probably ranked mode? Maybe be ranked soon as Ultra. Okay. But yeah, I only glanced it a bit too quick. So. Yeah. Not full information. Okay. It would also be interesting just to have more Ultra Digimon, because I think at the moment in this game there are only like a dozen or so. Yeah, this Rosemon uh, BM, this is damn good. And there's a few more, I just don't remember all of them. Yeah, probably better to use one of these. There we go. Just uppercut someone with a shotgun blast. Yeah, we're, we're only really chipping away here, except for that one. Though we're doing more than Metal Gear on at least. But I, I believe there is something with Acceleration Boost that really empowers the next attack or something. Hey, note that those things are actually gauntlets and not the actual claws. <laughs> Look at Lily! Oh, max level. Okay. That means we'll have to digivolve them. Room for us! Uh, also, we should probably take care not to confuse Lizzie and Lily. <laughs> but I guess I'm not such a legendary infamous hacker after all. Darn. We did it! And thank you too, Anne. Why are you here? I mean... I see, you were worried about me. Oh, sorry about that. Akino, that was amazing. Agumon and Gaiman got so strong. Yasu, did you ask Anne to... Yes, I did. To be honest, <laughs> I'm sorry, I know it's a bit much, but I was worried. Also, you don't need to call me Yasu. Just Yasu is yeah, fine. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Thank Yasu, but... <laughs> It's adding extra S. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, no, that, that's not it. It's... Yeah, never mind. <laughs> From now on, we'll, we all do our best. As members of the Rebels, okay? Huh? What? What's wrong? <laughs> uh, Alright. See you later. Okay, not sure if he just had his soul shattered or if he finally got noticed by Senpai. <laughs> that guy had a red liquid from, <laughs> coming from his nose. What was that about? Oh. That, that's evidence of a direct hit to the love center of his brain by my pheromones. Not how it is, Nokia. So you evolved too, Nokia? That's your special move? <laughs> awesome. I think these two's helmets might be on a little bit too tight. You <laughs> also like Digimon, we're always evolving. Anyway, Agumon and Gagumon, you guys really uh, turned impressive looking into impressive looking Digimon. It's all thanks to you. The Digimon can only become really strong when we have a close relationship with our master. I will get as strong as I can to protect you. Ward Raymon, and Agurumon. Thank you both. You're the best Digimon I could have asked for. Right, let's get pumped up. Rebels, time to go kick some ass. <laughs> well, I guess we are a member now, if unofficial. And how was Miss Nokia Shiramine? Shira, Shira Mine? I'm not sure how you're supposed to say the Mine bits or Mine bits in uh, Japanese. Probably Mine. Probably Mine. Oh, she's not the kind of girl to give up easily. Anyway, that's interesting about Agumon and Gabumon Dejivolving. 
We assume this will make the rebels' activities even more intense than before. Attention will now be paid to activities of hers that were previously ignored. Maybe she will be able to change minds after all. Hmm? You don't know? Any great historical figure who changes the world is inevitably not appreciated in their own time. They say there is a thin line between foolishness and genius. Perhaps they are right. Yeah, every great movement started out as one guy with an idea at one point. So guy, gal, undetermined, with an idea. Well, this case was a success, thanks for the effort you've put in. You said someone. Let's go back. I actually got that right. And I only now just noticed that it's just otaku with an extra O. Is that where the whole thing might have started? No idea. Either way, we get a friendship chip. And we rank up. You kids and your Digimon are all growing so fast. More than you realize. It's really a lovely sight to see unfold right in front of me. You go. I need to discuss Nokia of the Rebels. Can you come to Eden? I understand. I will send a formula request to your office concerning this matter. Okay, is this number 16? Yes, it is. Let me sell. Okay, I have some concerns about Nokia. There's something I need to ask you. Getting concerned someone is growing quickly? A bit too quickly, maybe? Yes, sir, does we have done any of the bonus missions from the demon look up, so we haven't done any progress on the other hackers. Mm. I suspect... It... Yep. Yep. Okay, for a second I thought I was looking into all of the documents there. Um... Yeah, I think... I don't think these are related to that. We got these by searching, so these are yeah. just go somewhere, get a thing... And oh, yeah. done. That's not the... Uh, just the thing. You need to tell the Digimon to look for the hacker ones. For there's a chance to get them. Okay. Well, that, they'll give us something to tell the, the islands to do. Speaking of, we yeah. probably sh actually should go there and use the farm expansion. Yeah, and also involve uh, someone. Yeah. Before we waste too much experience on them. Yeah, and I think 250 is the max amount. I could be wrong. That's, that's a lot. Got 200. Okay, fighter. Oh. Nimble. Okay. Imagine Clockmon to ah. work, it be working as you are long clock. Pay them all. There we go. Move you to here, with all the other builders. Okay. Lanimon. Fighter. Cedramon. Lively. Shalumimon. What was it that said on Nanimon's head? Uh, we'll have to check in a second. Tyrannomon. Searcher. And Waspmon. Brainy. Okay. Actually, since we still need to find a few more builders... There... Yeah, well, as I was saying, when you convert a Digimon to, um, uh, from scan or such, you have 200, you even get the bonus AP. The ABI, I mean. What does it say AP? Okay, no new builders. Yeah, if you do it only 100, you get zero. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is where I've been grinding the digital line. That is the most high experience place I've found yet. Okay. Right, let's set these to search. There. Right, let's actually expand first. There we go. Seems I forgot I had another one. Okay. You lot go search as well. So do we have... Yeah, we have a searcher. There we go. That should help. Yeah, that helps a lot. 
Yeah, and if we get to uh, evolutions. Okay, Lily. Let's see, who did I have planned out for you? Just gotta make sure my my notes here don't get blown away by the fan. Uh, let's see, Ta -ta -ta, Lily. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, they're, they're one short. Okay, that means they digivolve down. And I may as well get Palamon then. Fill in another slot. Uh, fill in a, another spot on the field guides. Oh, there we go. You went from 9 to 21. Well, they did. They were. <clears throat> if I ever get it, if I have it correctly, you get one point just from digivolving, uh, and you get extra points for every ten levels if you digivolve up. And basically the same on the way down. You get one point for digivolving down, and then an extra one for every five. And since they were at level 45, uh, actually it must be more than because that would just give them. You uh, get you get some going up, but you get more going down. Yeah. Okay, that that the digivolving down from the levels would have just been nine, so that must. Hmm. Let me actually do a quick check here. Uh, Thirty-one. If we were to digivolve down, forty. That would be twelve. They are. Okay, so Digivolving Down must, at its base, already give three ability points, then. Uh, uh, wait, there's only a one-point difference between... Okay, it's only one-point difference to plow, uh, Sun Plowman. Okay. Um... Let's see. Let's see. Someone else I think I should... Or no. Let's see. Are any of these close to their max? 99, 62, 55. Okay. So, Peer and Tatum should be evolved sometime soon. That would push them over. Uh, enough ability, so that, no need for that. Enough ability. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. We'll see what we do when we get that, ex that memory up. Okay. Uh, where were we asked to meet again? Uh, this is actually form. Okay, makes sense, of course. Their home turf. Okay. I'm guessing Hugo might not be too happy about uh, Nokia <clears throat> poaching hackers from him. Thank you for coming. How is the Cyrus Loop business going for you? I see. Yeah, sorry. That was what I uh, yeah, that was what I sent the request about. Okay, I'll get straight to the point. I want you to put an end to Nokia's activities with the rebels. You understand? Your existence is nothing but an annoyance to me. I want to unite all the hackers once more under my leadership and restore order to Eden. And that didn't go too well last time, huh? Would it be better to cooperate? Of course you'd say that. This world, this Eden, do you like it? I see. I love Eden. How about we go for a short walk? I want to feel more at one with Eden. Alright, let's go to the Eden community area. There. How about we talk on that, ben on that bench? There we go. 
just as I thought. This it is indeed a good place. Do you know why Eden was created? Eden was created to set the mind free. This world is the pursuit of a dream to free the self from the shackles of the earthly body. Eden is truly is a truly unique place where people are freed from the obligations of their everyday lives, where they can express their true selves. The developers of Eden work themselves to the bone trying to achieve such an ideal world. The developers pass their enthusiasm on to the users, and Eden became a yeah, Eden become or became a haven for the virtuous as they gathered here. But what has become of Eden now? The hackers are on the rampage, oppressing the weak with their evil will, such as the reports flooding in. This world is in turmoil. Eden as it is now is not how it was supposed to be. Not at all. I understand them. The developers who poured their hearts and souls into the great ideal that Eden represents. So for that reason, I want to protect Eden. More than that, it is my duty to do so. I will preserve their legacy. Noki is a good kid. She genuinely loves Eden and Digimon from the bottom of her heart. The hackers, well, tamers really, who follow her, they're the same as her. So, I don't want uh, to get them mixed up in any of this. Myself and those self-centered egotistical hackers are the only ones who, can, who should be at risk. So, he doesn't want risk, you know, he, do he doesn't want rid of her, he doesn't want collateral damage. You're the only one who can stop her. Please, I need you to convince her. That's yes, the answer I'd expect from you. I get my point, but you can't abandon Nokia, is that it? You were very kind. You always were, even back then. Oh? The time you sneaked into the head office of Kamishiro, no, Kamishiro, even then, you were always running around concerned for everyone else. Hello? Um, Anne, isn't it? I tried to, to contact Nokia, but it seems she was caught up with it. Uh, caught up inviting someone to join us, so he didn't get through to her. She said I should contact you if I was ever in trouble. I'm in a bit of trouble here. I'm in Kowloon. Please come and help me. Wait, no, stop! Seems like an emergency. Aren't you going to go help him? I'll come too. Of course we get called from someone else. The red light, green light. Sure. I don't think I've ever actually played that game myself. What? At the very least I can't remember it. You mean you're uh, not even... Played it as a puzzle in a game? Yeah, uh, as in games and such, but never in real life. Okay, just where the hell in Kowloon are you? It is a pretty big place. I'm surprised, it's, it's one of the games that they teach you in kindergarten and preschool and all that. Yeah, it could be that I played it back in those days, but I've already said enough about how bad my memory is. <clears throat> That's true, you accidentally put on a shoe as a hat. <laughs> yes, I'm joking, people. Okay. Level 4. Also, it would be probably a damn big shoe to even try to do that. Okay. I might as well just go straight through here. This would probably be faster. There. And that guy's still there, so it's this way. Wait, no, that hurts. Stop. Ah. Don't say such selfish things. You're talking out of your ass. No. Don't lie to me. You called me a has-been hacker, didn't you? No, it wasn't me. I didn't do anything. I didn't say anything about you. Ah, and is that Hugo from the Zaxxons? Please help. I was just trying to help out Nokia by getting this has-been hacker to join us, but well, then this happened. Uh, 
Maybe you should stick to admin stuff or something. <laughs> More administrative stuff, not trying to recruit here this quick to uh, put your foot in your mouth. What? God damn, you go help. I have been a hacker, eh? We will need to change with the times too, I suppose. You're going to stand up for that little shrimp? We're mocking us hackers. So what? If what that little shrimp blurted out is enough to hurt your pride, then I guess your pride's pretty easily hurt, don't you think? But what are you talking about? Now you're mocking me too? I could easily smash a prophetic poser like you to pieces. Come on, let's go. I don't care if you, they call you a living legend, but that's what, just a load of hot air. Yeah, let's do it. Bring it on. Oh, uh, Pika needs to heal. There. Okay. Oh, Kuramon, I believe. They are pretty strong attackers, I think. Of course, he brings out a big freaking machine drum on. Okay, let's see. He actually has a mix. Okay. Let's swap Durvin Lord for Liz. And. Tatum for Rom. There. I think we're gonna need to evolve Rom soon. Probably, yeah. That was probably supposed to get poison, and of course, that's sleep. And that's a really powerful heal, huh? I, I think we might need to. I think it might. Be, we might be better off swapping back to normal heal because that's going to overheal a ton. Yeah, this is why. Actually, I never used the auto thing. Well, first, yeah, it can be like pretty wasteful. Also, I could find out some control. Yeah. This one left. Okay. Oh, oh, now they choose to wake up. Okay. There we go again. Okay, this is going to be a bit faster now. <laughs> nice miss. And there we go. Sophie Mon with the VR goggles. Wind Claw 3. Anti-poison for Lily. <laughs> this is this is the power of Hugo of his actions. He's in a whole different level for me. You have the ability to change, to improve. If you want, you can visit the Zaxxon forum. Our door is open to everyone. Just what I'd expect from Hugo of Saxons. Demonic strength and the ability to bring new members in with ease. It would have been better to do this with Nokia. Tell me, why did you join her rebel team? Hmm? Why? Um, well, I suppose because Nokia is honest. I like Eden. Actually, to be honest, it's more than that. I'm a complete Eden fanatic. I hate what Eden has become. So I wanted to do something about it. 
but I have no idea what I should do. I was lost. Nokia is protecting Eden and the Digimon in her own straightforward and honest way. When I saw this, I felt like a fool. Like I needed to do something, anything. Something, anything. So I decided I would help Nokia with her simple, honest approach. Ah, speak of the devil. I'm getting a call from Nokia. I've got to go and take this. It doesn't look like we can stop her. And I have a favor to ask of you. Could you please protect her, Nokia, I mean? You and I are similar, actually. We're being led on a wild goose chase. But please be ready. Next time we meet, we will be enemies. Yeah, the enemies. Don't have to be. He asked you to protect her? At first the case was just to hinder her activities, wasn't it? That boy is confused. From what I'm hearing from your story, it sounds like his feeling for, feelings for Eden and sense of duty are just teenage angst. Well, that's good. Most people are not moved by mere words. The possible events of the future should propel you forward. Anyway, that boy paid us our fee. Honest and proper, then. He may be a little confused, but he was very right. Actually, it's probably because he is so well raised that he's confused. Okay. Let's get that. You managed to attract quite the diverse group of people. You don't know how rare it is in a detective to have that trait. Okay, first things first. There we go. And let's see if we can digivolve someone from that. Okay, because I have someone in mind for that. Yes, they are getting close toward their, their maximum, though I dare, very much doubt we'll hit it anytime soon like that. And yeah, this one's perfect. There we go. And Tilamon. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, you kill your body. Okay. Well, we'll need to look around for another case. Apparently, your friend is moping around the cake cafe again. I suppose it's a tough age. Uh, it sounded like it's you true. almost said cake cafe. <laughs> Well, that would be a pretty good name for a cafe that <laughs> serves a lot of cakes. Now we want cake. There you are, I thought it was you. Yeah. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Oh, Yan! How long have you been there? Looks like your many years of experience as a detective have made you a master of stealth. That. Uh, we have exactly zero years of experience. <laughs> it's just that your perception is uh, zero. No, that can't be right. Hmm? What am I doing? What am I worrying about? Yeah, but how could you tell? You're too good at, it, at the detective stuff. Well, maybe it's better to ask you about this anyway. It doesn't seem like I'm gonna solve this one on my own. Okay, so he's he's going to send a request, so we need to run back. Yeah, he's here, man. Talk to those, those in the cafe for a while. Yeah. Let's actually check if they have anything new to say. And let's see, Elizabeth is back on phone. Okay. Uh, sale this, still the same. Still the same. All right. After we're done streaming, which is about in 40-ish minutes, I think I'm just going to go buy a cake. Really? Yep. Okay, here we go. That's number 17, Flowers for Sakura. 
Uh, what should I do? What can I do? Is, is there something I can give to win over a girl's hearts? The girlfriend will be getting out of hospital soon and you want to give her a present? Nah, Kyoko, keep your voice down a bit. Sakura, she's not my girlfriend yet. Hmm? Not yet? What does that mean? Uh, well, I... Look, if you want to give her a present, just give her whatever you want. I'd like to get something a girl would like. Could you help me choose something? But you know you'll have to pay for this if it's an official case, right? That's okay. I just want her to have the best possible present. Well, I mean... She's just getting out of the hospital, that's all. Do you think you're taking this a bit too far? He's given a rest already. I know you're a detective and all, but stop constantly analyzing every little thing for once. It's kind of what we do. <laughs> it's a personal rule of mine not to take on a case unless I completely understand it. But okay, I suppose I can make an exception just for now. Just for now? That sounds scary. I need money in order to buy the presents, so I'll get a part-time job. I've heard about some good haunted spots outside of Eden. I'll still need your help. Hmm. He's still working in ghost photography? Well, I guess that's fine. So we're looking for something a girl would like. Sorry, but I stopped thinking like a girl a long time ago. And you're too worldly, so that leaves us with a bit of a problem. Yeah, you, could, you would just say coffee beans. <laughs> in this situation, I'd say you should ask your feminine friends. Feminine friends. That's how you go with me. <laughs> Let's see what she says to this. Well, he's not really feminine, but if I had to say, I, <laughs> I, he seems like a kind of childish romantic to me. Yeah, you go. Well, she's not really the type. She's naive and probably wouldn't care about what kind of present it was. I'd say. Since we're going to be dealing with Nokia yet again, it's three in a row. Perfect. She's probably not really that kind of person. But at least she will try her best. Or at least that's how she seems to me. Hmm. I think she's in Shinjuku right now. Go and ask her, uh, ask her for her opinion on girls' presence. Yeah. Do we just oh. have trackers on all of us, Kyoko? Oh dear. I say this to people. If you're gonna give someone, it should be less of what would a girl or a boy like, more of what would a person like. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think I've seen in many shows, there are more, more, more modern shows nowadays than older ones. Like, older shows did this horribly, but new shows had to be better that, that it's better to buy a gift that fits or that you know the person would like instead of, oh, a girl like this or a boy like this. When you go, that mentality with boy or girl will like this, it's actually be fail. Yeah, or you're highly likely fail. You, you, there's a bigger chance you might end up insulting them. Indeed, <laughs> and we all live in an age where we are more and more moving away from the gender stereotypes. Yeah. They're moving mm. away from that more and more. And even, well, even back then, it was a kind of secret frown on, but due to social standing, you had to follow it and all that, you know? Yeah. Hmm? What's up? Is there some burning question you desperately need to ask me? Yeah. Yeah? Looking for a present for a girl? Do you have any more information on that? Hmm. A girl's present. And why are you asking me about this? <laughs> OMG, you like someone, don't you? But you already have me. Wait, is that why? But since you can't have me all to yourself, you need to find someone else? That's probably it. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm just too intimidating for you know, most guys. But if nobody ever gets close to me because they're afraid, not a good sign. 
enemy? We aren't like that. Okay, you're at least mature enough to realize that that as rebels we all share the same goals, the same ideals. We have a special relationship that can overcome any obstacle. And she misses the point again by a land mile. So, what's the request again? Ah, it was about the present for a girl. They came to the right place. I happen to be an expert on the matter. When it comes to present for girls, you can't go wrong with accessories. Accessories! <laughs> she says, well, laden up with the things. Like that spore, necklaces, three armbands. I see at least three rings on the other hand. And of course, the hairdos. What do you call those things again with... Yeah, the hair accessories, are simply put. Girls uh, eat, sleep, and breathe accessories. They're a little pricey, but what about a necklace from Vivian's? Oh dear. Let's discuss it back at the office. Drag her over so he can just get between it, get this done between themselves. Or oh, we left Nokia behind. <laughs> okay, probably for the best. A necklace? Not bad. I, don't, I think anything over a thousand bucks would hurt a high school student's wallet a bit too much. Yeah, the price is one thing, but honestly, rather than getting her something so girly, I think it would actually be better to give her something romantic. A present that shows that I've put some thought into it. Hmm, a romantic present. I know I said I wouldn't to ask too many questions, but I have one for you now. Hmm? What are you talking about? You know she's getting out of the hospital. Why are you so concerned with getting her such an amazing present? This, this is a chance for me. For me to tell Sakura to tell her how I feel. Tell her how you feel? And then what exactly would that be? Well, I mean, you know, that I, that I love her. Love? Love? <laughs> you like this Sakura girl? Why the heck do you think he came here to, in the first place to get her a present? Like, he'd have to pay double just for the present and then us as well. <laughs> well, of course I do. Why else would I want to tell her how I feel? I see. But why do you like her? I don't really know. I guess I just can't leave her and I want to be with her. I'm the only one who can protect Sakura. Oh, I'm Ryota. I'm the only one who can protect you, Sakura. I'm the only one who can protect you, Sakura. Why are you doing this? Are you... Yeah, this... Did she finally have a mental break or something? Wait, hey, stop that. Stop saying that. Stop it. Enough already. That's it. Now do you... Now do what I hired you to do. You're not harried. He really is such a self-conscious teenage boy. But he's an honest kid. We should definitely keep helping him. Well then. Romantic present. I think you need to go looking for a romantic friend of yours and ask their opinion about this. What do you think? So, a romantic friend. Well, she did call him a romantic early, but let's see what she says about Yuka. Well, I think she's, you know, she is more passionate than one would expect, but she's not the romantic type. Okay. Exactly. You wouldn't think it, but I'd say he's quite a romantic. I think he's in Akiyabara. Go and ask him about a romantic present. You really do have cracking devices on all of us, don't you? If he's a detective, so he may not need a tracking device. How many districts are there in Tokyo? Oh. This thing, 23? Right. It's either that or 19, I'm thinking. Yeah, I know there's one qu question that's incorrect. I should forget what one it is, but they may have corrected that one in the complete edition. Actually, yep. wrong place. And um, his thing about the Rata it says, "Be assured, Shanti reads a lot of manga, and a lot of manga gets romance decently yeah. right. But I mean, like, many old cartoons, many modern cartoons like Owl House does room as well as well. But that's more recent. Yeah, and plus, besides action, 
and adventure. Romance is like the second most uh, common thing to come up in well, any media, basically. Yeah. yeah. You got ancient Greymon. Oh, you've got a question for me. Then what are you being so formal for? See? Any advice? Huh? Looking for a romantic present for a girl? He's probably thinking, but why don't you just ask yourself? Romantic. It's kind of old-fashioned, don't you think? Anyway, why are you specifically asking me this? Huh? I'm a romantic? What are you talking about? But you're here at Kyoko's behest? I can't think why she say, would say such a thing. Hmm. Romantic, you'd say. That's it. How about something with, with poison and a dagger? What? <laughs> What's with the face? It would be such a romantic present. Yeah, you read Romeo and Juliet too many times. Um. <laughs> you know, like Romeo and Juliet. You've heard of them, right? <laughs> Oh, I think we should have a counter at times when you accidentally say what is about to be said. I know, Button, but it's one of Shakespeare's tragedies. It's about the forbidden love of Romeo and Juliet. I, I'm pretty sure we should not be <laughs> trying to suggest that this love or the, the relationship between those two is uh, forbidden. <laughs> well, we'd rather not have it end the same way. Romeo thinks that Juliet has died, so she drinks poison and kills himself. Juliet is actually alive, and when she sees that Romeo is dead, she takes a dagger and sticks it in her own heart. So what do you think? Romantic, right? Romantic maybe to a... Uh, a goth who is into... <laughs> who is into literature? Well, I don't know. There's just something touching about such a profound and dramatic gesture. He's called a tragedy for a reason! Yeah. It's a romantic present, and that's that. It's a romantic tragedy! <laughs> it's a joke, just a joke. Oh, You're the one who labeled me a weirdo, but it's just getting back at you. Hmm, romantic present. How about I take it to a theme park? Have you, uh, have you never heard that memories are better than possessions? Ride the ride, see the parades, kiss underneath the starry sky. Girls like that kind of stuff, right? You know, it is generally a better. Uh, it is generally a better uh, present than just giving someone uh, a bowl or something. But you do also have to plan around it quite a bit. I'll discuss it back at the office. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, the, the easiest type of these types of presents would just be to, well, offer a dinner date. You don't even have yeah. to call it a date. Just <laughs> ask someone, uh, uh, suggest to go uh, out uh, for, to a restaurant with someone. Yeah, no, I would say a date is come, is it, okay. People will, they will probably think Nokia thought it was a family gesture to give someone a necklace, but here's the thing: you can give, give necklace to anyone. Yeah. If, even guys today will wear a necklace. I got. I even have I one. Do it. <laughs> I have one right over here to my right, though I wouldn't, not too sure if, if to fully consider it a necklace since it's, well, it's a witcher amulet with a neck, with a chain. So I guess that doesn't fully count. It's a finger stick. This is a point where I don't know what counts as a necklace and what counts as an amulet. <laughs> but yeah, it, with uh, jewelry and such, uh, it's always nice, but... People, if people keep getting that stuff, they're going to get a bit tired of it, of deciding what to, to wear and not. And just, just the much chance that the, your gift is going to be put inside a jewelry box and basically not really forgotten, but not really used much. Yeah. So what hmm. is it? Nicholas is probably better who says, his ring. When it comes to the rings, you need to make sure it will fit. And if it's yeah. a ring, Make sure it doesn't get into a misunderstanding. Yeah, don't put it in a box or a, a little square box and such, and don't kneel for them. Or so don't honestly, put if they're in a glass, if, if they're a suggestion, God, yeah, definitely don't put it into food or something. <laughs> uh, actually, maybe maybe someone you're close with who is who has a very sarcastic kind of humor, they might pull the. Might be able to pull a ring in a box off with, but 
probably best not to try it. Because <clears throat> they'll probably never let you live it down. <laughs> wow, going to a theme park, kissing under a starry sky? Just as I thought, he's quite a romantic. What do you think? Should they, uh, should they enjoy a date at the theme park? Hmm. A date. A date. Somewhere a certain policewoman <laughs> perks up. Just one more time and she'll actually show the hell up. Like freaking Beetlejuice. I feel like going on a date should be the next step. First I'd like to get her a present that really grabs her. You could get a monkey paw. That might grab her. Or a lobster. <laughs> hmm. We sure do have a lot of conditions. Actually, I've been thinking, I'd rather the present wasn't too unusual. Something simple but elegant. Hmm. Actually, you have a good point there. But simple but elegant is a bit ambiguous. Okay then. I've, yeah, I've got to go do my job. Please go on, I'll speak with you later. It's the third time he's done that. I guess I should be used to it by now, but I don't get why he keeps leaving us to do all the work. Isn't that kind of why you have to do Okay, not sure if that registered, but basically I was up getting asked uh, what pizza I'd like. Yeah. Hot and spicy, like 100% of the time. <laughs> okay, so something simple but elegant. She's not simple, but there's only one friend of yours who, you, you know, who I can think of who would give you that kind of advice. So you go, last one left. Yeah, it looks like she has come a shiver right now. Please go and ask her about something simple but elegant. She should be able to tell you something useful anyway. The simple is good. Yeah, and, and they're not wrong. Yeah, and here's an example of <laughs> simple but elegant. Uh, uh, the table in the room there. Yeah. Mm. And it was a tree. Yep. Okay. Oh, let's head on over to Kamishiro. <laughs> oh dear. And yep, technically, uh, wait, Kam did she mean Kamishiro in Eden? Because we don't really have a place here for that yet. Uh, you used the other thing, and also you just you actually reminded me of something when it comes to the little ring thing that I seen a video of. No. So. It was proportional <laughs> and. Basically, two people that were to propose were about to propose to each other at the same time. And, oh, no. And yeah, it, could, it was on video. They could be recorded. And they lo both laughed. And they both did say yes. I get the feeling their friends might have been putting them up to it. Like, uh, not yet. Uh, that they probably got... Uh, they probably had at least one or a few common friends who they told that they were going to propose, and they probably just managed to convince them to, this will be the perfect time, this will be the perfect time, don't do it just yet, this will be the perfect time. Basically saying that to the both of them and just snickering in the background as they were both going at it at the same time. Yeah, as, as I understand as I was told, neither of them knew they were to propose to each other. Yeah. <laughs> While our relationship may fall within the bounds of friendship, to touch me so brazenly is... Hey, you've got something to ask me? I'm pretty sure we just poked her on the shoulder to get her attention or something there. Huh? You're looking for something simple and delicious or... Oh, sorry. Simple and elegant. My bad. What do you mean exactly? Please explain it in a bit more detail. Of course, you're looking for something a girl would like. I get it now. But I don't think that's the best plan. For starters, it's a present for someone that's been picked out by someone who doesn't know them. Good point. The gift giver needs to think about what the recipient might like. Yes! What makes her happy? Think seriously. Consider it. Ponder it. Mull it over. And then choose the best possible present. 
That's what giving a present is all about. He gets it. It, it might sound a bit like a fortune cookie wisdom, but it's correct. It's not what you get, it's the time and energy you spend thinking about what might make the other person happy. It's the present's true value. Please tell this client who can't decide on the present to think as carefully as he can about the person he wants to give the gift to. Indeed. Hmm? Me? What would make me happy? Hmm, that's a good question. Onigiri. That's what I'd want. Onigiri. Made with love. A nice big onigiri. What? Onigiri's no good? Now I'm drawing a bit of... It's a type of sushi, but I'm blanking out specific... I think onigiri is with the... Just the rice and the slab of fish on top. Slab uh, is maybe a bit of a crude word for it. Is that I more the rolls? Uni... I think onigiri is the... Triangular-looking ones. Okay. The ones that they got translated as rice cake. <laughs> or, or rice... Or, or donuts. <laughs> Yeah, rice. I think that they have accidentally been translated to rice donuts. This is a oh, oh. I don't know how he got. I think that was a, a very bad accidental thing. That was a local localization thing from uh, Pokemon. Oh yeah. And, yeah, Onigiri are the triangular ones. Yeah, I should try those. It. Are you sure? Yeah, I've never had those before. I thought, <clears throat> is the red, red thing supposed to be a berry or...? The red thing? The ones I'm seeing are just triangles with a slant, with a bit of uh, seaweed to hold it. Oh right, there are variations. There are some that have a thing placed outside of them sometimes. Okay. And yeah, it's not just rice. There's supposed to be a filling to them as well, of course. <clears throat> He said that the time spent thinking about the best possible present was the true gifts? Hmm, she has a point there. Wow, of course, that's it. That's exactly what I should do. I'll think about it, seriously and all on my own. I'll think about what should make Sakura happiest. Just don't give her a Jimikin CD. She probably might, <laughs> she'll likely just throw that thing at you like a shuriken. Okay, thanks, and it's Kyoko. <laughs> Does he really need to go off running and shouting like that? Where the hell is he going anyway? <laughs> Use this waste on a young. Well, at least we got paid. I... I half agree with her. So three new cases. One flame symbol in the back. I'm curious to see how this budding romance turns out in the end. I wish him the best of luck out there in courting her. Well, if she cares about as much about him as he does about her, it shouldn't be much of a problem. To the promised land. Zaxon no Kuron. Yeah. Eden ni aru sube te no hakka ni tou. Kimi tachi wa jiyuu ka. Nani mono ni mo okasarezu. Nani mono ni mo kanshou sarezu.何者にも監視されない。そんな自由が今のエデンに存在するか。エデンの前身であり、我々ハッカーの発祥の地でもある聖地アンダーゼロ。そこはこの伝の世界の創造主が理想とした空間であり、今よりもはるかに自由で解放
われわれザクソンは今より聖地アンダーゼロの奪還を宣言する志を同じくする者がいるならば目指せアンダーゼロ Okay, you go starting a crusade. ドゥマイコドヤラハリマシタナ。熱の入った演説。なかなかのもんでしたわ。将来は立派なシャッチョさんとすな。でで、お守るためなら。グにも着かない伝説だって利用する。どうけも喜んで返事てみせよう。僕
I think I'll leave it as a rest day for now. Maybe we'll stream something. Maybe we will run a test of Robocop. Uh, but most likely I will just rest for that day and catch up on uploading or rather more publishing the VODs of the previous streams because I've been falling behind on that again. Oh yeah, that, that's probably a good idea. Although, although I would like to play more of this tomorrow, but the VODs takes priority. Yeah, plus I can only upload so many to the uh, to the segmented channel, like 10 a, uh, 10 a day. And uh, yeah, each of these gets cut into eight parts, so yeah. <clears throat> and it's always a bit uh, it's always a bit iffy with when it will consider it the quote unquote next day. It's not always twenty four hours later. <clears throat> but yeah, before we end the stream, of course, let's go look for someone to raid. Uh, I will still need to plan out. I for hackers' memory, I already have planned out what the entire end team will be. I just need to find, well, who to grab early on so we can evolve them into those. But for now, let's take a look for who are online. Let's see. It's not too busy. We have Moonrise with Black Myth Wukong. Starnak with Minecraft. Crazy Jess is playing Dragon Age Origins. I'm Nice is playing Final Fantasy XIV. Isaiah Rosier is playing Oblivion, The Elder Scrolls. Chubbers is playing World of Warcraft. I, I'm pretty sure that's the only thing they've been streaming lately, at least whenever I've seen them. Yeah, it feels like it, kind of. And then we have Horatius the Dwarf with Elden Ring. WBPL with Tears of the Kingdom. Karenai with Tabletop Simulator. VTuber Board Game Night. Okay. And last but not least, we have Edrum with Voices of the Voids. Okay. Any of those sound of interest, or shall I take a pick? I want to say yes, but we raised them recently. Shall we go say hi to Nice instead? Yeah, let's read some eyes. <laughs> okay. Copy name. Head to our place. Slash rate and paste. But before we start out, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Elizabeth. And uh, I, I saw a pizza was looking for a while. Uh, beyond that, well, only those two freaking bots, I think, or at least that I noticed with the chatty program. But oh well. <clears throat> and yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining and watching. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, work to with the current schedule that we ha that I have for work. I, it's actually pretty lucky. I didn't ask for specific days to be off and such, but at the moment, the schedule is set for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So that means that I won't be coming to home from work tired on days to be when I'd be streaming normally. Though, yeah, if that gets changed, we might need to change the schedule around to stream on other days. We'll just see how things go. <clears throat> yeah. But yeah. As things are now... Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and one of the weekend days, which will swap, which will alternate. Okay, but yeah, again, maybe another stream tomorrow, maybe not. Uh, maybe some multiplayer shenanigans, or maybe we can finally just get, maybe we can finally watch a movie with the server again. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, but for now, though, uh, yeah, let's get this raid started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And a lovely Saturday. And watch out for Undead Seagulls. And Digimon Seagulls. I think there is one. <laughs> <laughs>